you guys are trying to dodge the f***ing accountability that you put the Amber Heard, you put the sad music, you put no, the- No, they admitted that. Zooming in. That was the problem. They admitted that. That was not- how could a miscommunication be so f This is the biggest miscommunication of the world. They responded to us about was the most f***ed up one. And this is the video they erased in disgrace. Mm -hmm. And I think a big part of it was because of the way that they patronized yeah. you. They deleted it quick. Yeah. Abba, Abba wrote me. Can I play this on stream? So I'm going to show you guys a video. Abba's giving me permission to show it to you guys. This video is no longer available on YouTube. All right, golly, we've golly, got. Geez, geez. So Ab and Preach made a response. I don't really want to get into it that much with them because we have so much other better stuff to talk about. Yeah. But uh, one funny detail of this. So we talked about them on Monday. I think we maybe even talked about they them near the end or the middle real. of the show. So we talked about them at around like maybe four, three or four yeah. p.m. PST. They're on the East Coast because they're in Quebec. So they're three hours ahead of us they posted this video the same day as us they posted it at like 11 p.m 12 a.m about 10 p.m 12, maybe 12 30. they posted it at 12 30 a.m so these knuckleheads and they i don't know much about them but apparently they both have families um no abba doesn't have a family like that preach is married but abba is single well i don't know about single but abba is a he likes to work he's a very good worker so he will post videos at all times of the night. As you guys know, I get Abba Preach like notifications all of the time throughout all the nights. Like I said, like, okay, but Abba doesn't have kids or something. It's not like he has a wife. These dudes with families. They See how Ethan, why does, why does Ethan assume everything? Man, I, that's my, look, I make a lot of assumptions and guesses, but I say out loud, look, my opinion, I'm thinking it. This is what I'm thinking. I don't know. I could be wrong. This man. Why he assumes so fucking much, bro? <laughs> they, they left their families at fucking like 10 p.m. And then they they sped off to their squeaky ass little studio. That floor is a character in the show. We love the floor. Look at Ethan. Not even understanding the floor. See, this is why Ethan's not lovable to everybody. He's lovable to me, of course. I think everyone is lovable. I think everyone obnoxious in the world is lovable because I think all humans are obnoxious. <laughs> I think all humans are equally as lovable as Ethan. I'm going to be real with you. I think everyone's the same because everyone's annoying as fuck. But like, man, the assumptions, bro. Why make the assumptions? And also the squeaky floor is literally the best part. Do you know Abba and Preach tried to film in a different place and the audience was so upset that the squeaky floor wasn't there? They continued the squeaky, squeaky floor. Uh, and and met up here to shoot this and then posted it at 12 a.m. These guys know how to capitalize on some on some tea. Ethan is the most money-focused content creator I've ever seen. I love it about him. I don't know why he's pretending that he's not good at YouTube. He's literally got a, what, a 40,000 stream podcast? That ain't happening because he's just doing YouTube for fun. Remember, nobody gets to being a top YouTuber without effort nobody becomes a top youtuber without effort you just don't become that you don't become a top streamer without effort so again ethan pretending like he doesn't try to capitalize or talk about drama every i wish i was better i wish i posted drama as much as ethan did exactly as it's happening ethan is a trending queen bro he loves a trend uh but that i thought that was kind of funny that detail <laughs> dude wait for the morning you know what i mean but uh, that was good. The other thing I want to address in it is I felt like they were pretty dishonest in the way they framed this. Wait a lie. I don't. Ugh, I feel these guys are such morons. I don't know why. The bridge is is mutilated, by the way. If anyone's wondering, the bridge is like fully laced with TNT, and there's a train coming. And I'm and you know what I mean. It's like World War II sabotage. Like that train is going the fuck down. There's no train. There's no bridge. Like him, so I'm just gonna go lie about him assaulting me. That is such an insanely hurtful thing to say about any woman ever. It's a very <laughs> humiliating experience to go through something like that, and for for anyone to assume that like someone claiming being a victim or surviving something is them like wanting to do for each. So that's the edit that they made originally that we were talking about. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, Olivia is being very vulnerable and she's being very emotional and they are laughing at her. I mean, there's- They're not, okay. Again, why? They don't get the joke. 
How are they missing this joke? Bubbles, cultural differences with words, and humor. They literally don't get the joke. Isn't this amazing? Like, Ethan is old. But it's a bubble thing. It's a cultural thing. This is what I, this proves my work so good. Fuck everybody who's ever doubted me. I'm fucking, I'm a genius. Like, Ethan literally can't understand the joke. His whole crew can't understand a joke. Isn't this beautiful? But it's not just the joke. I'm saying he can't understand the words. Like, he doesn't, his brain isn't processing. You know what I mean? Like he's not, he's literally not processing the joke. I love this. Like this is so, I think this is what's so key when I say you have to understand people to get them, like to really understand where a person is coming from. You have to understand their language, their body language, how they, like what words mean to them. I can't, I can't handle, I mean, I can handle it here. I'm I'm, I'm thriving, but like he doesn't get the joke. And that's why I look at him like, oh, but I look at all humans this way. We all have these flaws. I have these flaws. Sometimes I listen to someone. I'm like, I don't get it. I don't like the way you talk. I don't get it. It makes me want to die. I don't understand the way you're talking. So this is what I'm saying is a universal lived experience. We all have ways of not understanding people. This is Ethan's. No really way uh, to other interpret that. And I mean, they say, well, we weren't, we were laughing at Jordan Heard because she lied. Amber so Heard. Amber Heard, because she, I don't know what Jordan. I feel like I knew someone in like middle school named Jordan Heard, and like it's still in my <laughs> head somewhere. It's weird. Um, <clears throat> their their defense is, we were saying that some women do lie, so that's why we showed Amber Heard. Mm. But I mean, in the essence of it, is they're laughing at a girl who's being very vulnerable and very emotional yeah. and they're laughing at her that i mean so? that that's literally what's happening there's really no other way is that unethical why do we... i mean i think it's kind of an asshole move but also what does it mean if they're laughing they're probably not connecting with the vulnerability and that's the dilemma is like i maybe they're not seeing the vulnerability the same but they're not laughing at a girl for being vulnerable they're laughing at Olivia for saying women don't lie. Why would women lie about essay or or false accusations? They're laughing because Olivia is obviously wrong. To say about any woman ever. So they're not laughing at the girl. They're laughing at the statement that women don't lie. That's the joke. Because obviously women lie. Not women in general. Women aren't a monolith. Do you know what I mean? Like that's, that's the laughter. The laughter isn't towards the woman. This is what I'm saying. Ethan's like, Pfft. it just went over his beautiful head. His beautiful, thoughtless head. It just went whoosh. Way to, to cut it. And so the thrust of their video is that some more bullshit. Like the original title was uh, H3 Crew Accuse Us of Something Evil. Like, all right, well, it was it was really mean. Yeah. I, don't re I don't remember using the words evil. I also just like, I don't even care if they knew that I was assaulted or not. Like, you're making fun of a girl talking about what it's like to come forward when girls are raped. Like, you were laughing at the entire- She doesn't get it either. Boom! Right over their little heads. Literally right over their heads. This is why humor is so subjective. This is why, this is why when you listen to a person and you feel like you hate them or you don't understand, you have to make sure you're really understanding what they're saying because that's not what the joke was. And so the idea that they're still saying like, but you're laughing at a girl who's, they're not laughing at you, Olivia. Again, what a white woman move to make this about you. They're, it's not even about you. The commentary isn't about Olivia. It's not, it's about women lying. That's the commentary. I are the entirety of what I was saying. That's fucked up and I still think that that's fucked up, even if you didn't know. That's subjective, it's not objective. Saying it's fucked up is fine, but it's not objective. And so again. It is fucked up. Yeah, like it is fucked up. Sorry. And not only that, what they what they did in their video is why do I have so much good faith for Abba and Preach? Two reasons. One, because I understand the context of the video. And if you don't get it, you're just not understanding it. It's like it's like conservative people that think all trans people are groomers. That's what Ethan sounds like right now, because they're not getting the joke. And because they don't get the joke, they're making horrible assumptions about people that aren't true. It's like conservatives that think all trans people are groomers because they don't understand trans people. 
It's literally that's all it is, right? It's like people don't understand the context and then they think they're allowed to have an opinion. You can have an opinion, but you might want to know that you might want to actually understand the context first. Otherwise, you just sound dumb. But also everyone's stupid. So who cares? Second, um, I know Abin preached to correct themselves. They've corrected themselves a lot about misinformation that they've spread, which I really appreciate. And two, Technically, I'm friendly with Abba. I consider him a friend and I know that he's a well-intentioned person, but he also has his biases and prejudice, which we all do. And so obviously I'm able to give him more good faith because I, I know him to be so. But also they've corrected themselves in the past plenty, Abba and Preach. And again, I know the context of the video. Now for Ethan, I know it's good. I'm also acting in good faith towards him, meaning I know he's well-intentioned. I know Olivia is well-intentioned, but it's not... It, it's not their fault they don't get the joke, but it's also why they're wrong because they don't understand the joke, right? X Production says, what about all the trans stuff with Abbott and Preach? They had some awful opinions. They have had some awful opinions that don't agree with my values, but because I don't believe in objective morality, I think at the end of the day, we're animals evolved on a planet who decide to hold opinions strong to our consciousness, but Abbott and Preach aren't beholden to my beliefs. They're beholden to their own, Right? So obviously, you know, Ethan, Ela, me, you, Abba, Preach, we all get to choose our values. And I just don't think they're evil people for having different values than me. And if I did believe that, and if you believe that, then I don't know what you're advocating for. Because I'm advocating for peace amongst nations. What are you advocating for? Are you advocating for genocide? Because that's what you're going to end up leading to when people say that your beliefs don't get to be in civilized society because you haven't evolved past this, like, prescription that you're making on people not to be such a dramatic queen yes we have to stand up for lgbt rights but not at the expense of like cis people right and then cis people like i know you're gonna whine and bitch and moan as trans people get their rights but you're gonna have to suck it up because unless you're advocating for the genocide of trans people they get to exist bitch okay not only did they not take any accountability for this absolutely doesn't need to take accountability wouldn't make sense to malicious really nasty thing they did to olivia i feel like they also heaped more blame on you yeah it's like once you did well because you un you misunderstood they don't owe you an apology it would be weird to apologize don't expect apologies from people apologies are not for you it's for the people I did know then that something had happened to me why do you have <laughs> anything to speak on the worst thing i've ever been through like, why are you posting a video on your channel about, I don't know, it just, it makes me feel icky and I'm entitled to kind of think that they're the worst. Now, of course, you guys are right that Abin preaches content in the past and currently is male focused and male dominated. And though they try to be pretty balanced, they obviously have sort of a bias towards men. To be fair, my content has a bias towards women. That is the truth of my content. 70% of women who are people, people who watch me are women. I tend to think about women. My bias is also towards LGBT people. I have a desire to see the civil rights continue for marginalized communities, which means my bias is towards them. So obviously all of us have content that lean a certain direction, right? I'm more progressive. I don't even consider myself any part of conservatism. I don't adhere to conservatism. I don't vote for conservatives, even though I was raised as one. So ultimately every everyone's content has a bias. We're all sharing our biases and prejudice. You are not without biases or prejudice. Not one single person on the planet is. So all I'm asking you to recognize is if that is true for all people, how can we ask for world peace? How can we ask for people to have dignity amongst nations? How can we ask for people to get along if we ourselves are not gonna get along with people who think differently from us while still forming a society that has boundaries and rules for people? now. Obviously, you know, I believe everything is bubbles and I believe in diversity. And though I wish all the world believed like I did, I actually just accept that they won't and instead radically accept in a philosophy sense that the world is exactly the way it should be because of this, right? Brittany, find the original video of Abba and Preach so we can all see the context and come to the conclusion. I want the bridge built. Well, I mean, we could try to find it. Does anyone want to link it to me in the Discord? Oh, absolutely. I mean, yeah, of course you are. I mean, here, but I mean, you can see just what douches they are. He knows it's fucked up. That, that's why they're doing this, right? They know it's fucked up. Yeah, that's why it's funny. That's why it's so funny. Like, why are we acting like you guys aren't giant fucking assholes for doing this? Yeah. Like, that's the joke. I mean, look at you guys.
You're on the floor. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> thing. Uh. Joe is so incredibly wrong and, in inform and uninformed that like you one million percent should not be making content about this because you're teaching young men who don't know anything about this and then you're telling young women to not talk to each other, to not talk to anyone, to not tell anyone that something happened because idiots like you. And you know what? You sound like a feminist. But like, is that true? Is that what their work does? I mean, I think in the past you could have made that argument, but if you watch Evan preach now, like watch, watch Evan preach now, watch the last like 10 videos they did, 20, 30 videos, very different than the content they made three, four years ago. Okay. So that was all their editing. Mm -hmm. Then they do something really twisted in their new video too, that I want to address. Loser, though, yeah. I'm just going to interject. I do. <laughs> if you I don't do. know who Olivia is, she's the loser feminist researcher who yeah. spends all her day on Reddit boards and thinks that's research. Okay. Sorry guys, I'll take it back. <laughs> Mind you. Okay. So now this is from. Is this from their new video? No, it's 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 included in their new video, but okay. it's from the initial video. So this is from their initial video, which they're doubling down on. So here's what he says. That's not me editing that. They edited it to the soundboard, and right in the middle of what she's talking, they started playing that shit. That's fucked up. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's fucked up. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you can tell her. You know, you can't do it. <laughs> So I saw comments of people like, oh, when I found out that. Um, oh, whoa, whoa. What the fuck was that? <laughs> so I saw. Pause to read. This last portion left Eben preach. F Wait, this last portion. Who's who's edited this? Is this not Olivia H3? The last portion left Eben preach fans as well as haters of H3 fuel to pour onto the fire. They said that H3 edited in the sound bites, which they did in fact do. However, unbeknownst to the commenters, this led Admin Preach fans to believe that H3 also edited in the sad music in the Amber Heard photo over Olivia. What helped their fans believe H3 edited in the music and photo... Well, that's not... Damn, not our fault. People are dumb, bro. Not, no one in my community liberally... Right? Didn't we all think like... See, we were right originally. My community was right. We understood the difference. Okay. Well, they're focused on the sound bite, right? Okay, hold on. Maybe wrong. What helped their fans believe H3 edited in the music and photo was the way that they phrased it. While also allowing speculation due to Abin Preach deleting their video to prove they edited Olivia with malicious music, I have the original from H3 Live. I think, if I remember correctly, ABBA took down a lot of the videos against H3 for a lot of reasons. I think partially for a build bridge burn or bridge building, but also I think because um, copyright issues or issues with YouTube. I can't remember. I have to ask ABBA. I saw comments of people like, oh, when I found out that um, H3 played that, that was crazy. We did not, and like, no. the, the accusation is, if it's not, like, intentionally misleading to lie about what they did, then it's just insanely fucking... I, I would never do anything like that. Thank you so much, and I know that, Zach. That's, I played Why are they acting like it's the end of the fucking world? They're so dramatic. God, I've never seen a group of more privileged people sitting in a room together acting like they're literally fighting for civil rights right now. Everybody relax. We are privileged YouTubers who sit in a studio all day making enough money to live in L.A. Well, not me. I don't live in L.A., but they live in L.A., right? Relax. Everyone acts like they're fucking civil rights leaders over here. Discord says understanding your own bias is a beautiful lens to approach the world with. When I try to share more of my experience or feelings about uh, things with a personal lens instead of this is how things are. I know, bro, that's all I'm asking is for people to be like, can you just explain it from your perspective instead of assuming all of us have to also adhere to this little like bubble you're in? Like, bro, everybody relax. Yeah, it says it's interesting that they can ca caveat all that, but not watch a single video of Abram Preaches in full or actually listen to anything they say. Bias, bro. Bias and prejudice, bro. Also, Abram Preach are black, so nobody on H3H3 is black. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was too far. It's not because they're black. It's because they're men. That's really what it's about. Or maybe it's because they're comedians. We know Ethan has a great track record with comedians. Yep. And and no. by the way, so I want to go back to that because the soundbite you played was after she was done talking mm -hmm. and it was perfectly timed and it was funny and it was good. Yes. So when he's like totally fine. So when he's like, oh, they played the soundbite in the middle of her talking. The only one that you can reasonably reference is the one that they did. And they try to say, oh, we didn't even do that. What the fuck? But I... So sad violin, which is what that song is called, is not even in my sound board. Women be trying to ruin um, an amateur sound. It's an am. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so they're misunderstanding as well. So they're also misunderstanding that which sound bite everyone's referencing. 
nor would I want to demean or diminish uh, what you're saying. Thank you. Yeah, so they left that ambiguous, which I think is really fucked up. They we didn't leave it ambiguous. It was just confusing. All we have to do is ask for clarification. You know what I mean? Just own what you did. Don't be cowards and be like, hey, listen, we weren't trying to uh, make fun of, of Olivia. We were just saying, like, or may they Production says none of the privilege diminishes Olivia's experience or the crew's desire to support a working environment. Absolutely. I think Olivia should be supported. I think it's great that H3 does support Olivia. I think that they should learn to support their friends without lying to them. And I think they should learn to support their friends without bias and prejudice. But I think that's really hard because we often do support people in our lives because of bias and prejudice, which I'm willing to acknowledge myself that when you like people, you know, you do your best to find the middle ground, to find the non- bias position but i think it could be asking a lot of h3 and their crew not to be biased and prejudice and also it makes sense that they would also want to support olivia i obviously want them to support olivia i just think that it would have been nice if anybody on the crew and i honestly wonder if anyone secretly does see the nuance and is too afraid to speak up because i i find it hard to believe that the crew of eight people or whoever is here not one of them understood the joke but i mean it's possible right I just don't know if anyone's too afraid to speak up or something, but how is the joke not obvious? Like, how is the Amber Heard joke not the most obvious commentary on women lie and people pretend they don't? Like, it's a common narrative for people to say, why would women lie about being assaulted? To say about any woman ever. Why wouldn't they lie about being assaulted? Women lie about assault. They lie about who they've slept with. They lie about how much money is in their bank account. Women aren't a monolith. Some women lie. And if the studies are true, most people are out here lying. So why why do you think it's offensive to say that women would lie about sexual assault when we know it happens versus thinking it happens all the time? Women don't lie all the time about sexual assault. Women sometimes lie about sexual assault. So you know what I mean? I don't know why we're pretending that that doesn't exist. It's a little strange, right? Production says 100% the crew is talking about this behind scenes and clarifying context. I have to assume a lot of this is baked in emotion and that someone in the crew is talking about it. Yeah, maybe. Tiger says that's why Ian doesn't say shit on screen anymore. Maybe. Maybe. Love is a smart, is smart, but he's afraid to speak. Mm. Jade says I think Ethan tries to side with many of the fans. He was just, he was fine building the bridge the day before until the comments were saying Ethan did Olivia dirty. I can see that. And look, he's a businessman. So he might as well choose money, right? Like choosing your authentic values doesn't always work. That's why grifting works so well on the internet, right? That's why all these conservatives are grifters because it's better to grift or Ethan's kind of a people pleaser. It's it's better to people please, right? It's just it's just monetarily better, right? Meme says, uh, is it that they don't get the joke or that they believe it's offensive regardless of the intended punchline? I don't think they get the joke because they keep misunderstanding it. They keep misplaining it. If they explained the joke accurately and then still found it offensive, I think that's more than reasonable. I think it's also reasonable that they're not getting the joke. I think it makes sense. Lots of people don't get jokes. And you only get the jokes like you're not going to – like I don't think Matt Reif is funny, right? When I, when I hear him talk, I'm like, ew. But like that makes sense. I'm not his target demographic. I don't find his kind of humor funny. It doesn't mean he has to stop doing comedy. I just think he's annoying and kind of offensive. But also it's subjective. Me being offended is not objective, so at the end of the day, like, fuck it. Go have fun, Matt Rife. But like, you know what I mean? Like, it just feels like Ethan and Olivia are trying to like virtue signal and trying to say something is like objective here. They could just say it's our opinion and we don't like it. Val says, I, th I feel like Ethan deep down knows that he could have solved the misunderstanding with them, but won't admit it because he wants to support his crew. Look, look at how many misunderstandings happening with me on and people on the internet. If they don't want to talk to you, they don't want to talk to you. Usually I'm good with clearing up misunderstandings, but look at the way that people have even blocked me or won't talk to me about it. Why wouldn't you clear up the misunderstanding? Because they're too afraid of the actual truth, which is they'd have to admit they're wrong. Ethan would have to admit he's wrong. Why clear up a misunderstanding when you're going to come out the wrong guy? That's my true opinion. That's my honest opinion. I think if you really wanted to like clear up a misunderstanding, you would have the conversation. But you're not going to have the conversation because I think you know deep down that if you did, you'd come out looking like, the bad guy. So it's easier to double down on an audience that's, that is already in agreement with you and spinning a narrative. And then he can continue it forward, which is fine. 
that makes sense. It works in the bubble. It works for Ethan. He benefits completely from doing this and his audience still supports him and they get what they want. He gets what he wants, which is consistent support. And the audience gets that their bubble reinforced by their big content creator. I don't think it's malicious, though. I think it is fear. I think it's fear of disappointing a big group of people. I think it's fear of being on the wrong side of history. And if a lot of people are yelling at you, a lot of them, and they're your bread and butter, you're more likely going to choose them. Like, and that's so human, guys. Like, I'm not even moralizing it, bro. So human, so reasonable. I'm not even mad about it, you know, kind of disappointed in it. Because you're thinking, man, I hope they like figure it out. But mm, it is what it is, right? Discord says this just feels like a superiority circle jerk rooted in ideology. Quote, women sometimes lie, end quote, goes against the believe all women BS. I mean, both are true. Believe all women makes no sense. But obviously, we need to believe women's like stories and men's stories and they stories about their assaults, right? Obviously, like people are discounting people's stories and that's wrong. And then at the same time, like women sometimes lie can sound discounting. So I get it. But also women do sometimes lie. So it's like mm. they say, OK, they say they're making fun of Levy, but they're like, we our point was just that Amber Heard lied. That's all. Uh, OK, Wait, yeah, no. their point is Amber Heard lied. Therefore, some women lie. Just, like, just uh, all of it sucks. You suck. Just just accept that you're a giant fucking uh, douchebag. At least admit that you're a douchebag. Yeah. All they had to do is like also. I don't think that they're groveling for my forgiveness, but like all they had to say was that was fucked up. But it wasn't fucked up. That's the problem. Is that fucked up? Or is it more fucked up to say women never lie? Because I feel like it's more fucked up to say women never lie. Like, because the narrative like women don't lie. Why would women lie about this? Kind of has to extend to other social situations. So what if a woman is a predator and you have a male victim who isn't believed because the narrative is that men can't be overpowered by women or that men can't be assaulted by women, right? Which obviously isn't true. And so like it kind of like, again, setting the narrative, like why would women lie about this is as if as if to say women never lie. But we, we just know that's not true. My stalker was a woman and she lied time and time again. We had to take this woman to court because she accused over 12 people of sex trafficking her, graping her, doing all these things to her that never happened. And we had to all go to court and get her case thrown out permanently. I never... I don't mention her name. I don't mention who she is. You know, I won my court case. I'm good to go. But it's like one of those things where like she still gets to live on the internet and live around the world and do this to other people because we can't do anything about it. You can't send her to jail, right? You can just take her to court every time. But, and who, okay? But that was a woman and she is mentally, severely mentally ill, right? Severely mentally ill. So obviously, um, that's really sad. So she needs to go to the hospital. But like at the same time, like nobody wants to help her because anytime someone tries to help her, she accuses them of graping or doing something awful to her. So again, it's like a part of this is mental illness too. Why would women lie about being assaulted? They're probably mentally ill. It's not okay. Or they're severely undereducated or they're severely malicious. But it's the same reason men do anything, right? Why would men lie? Why would fuckboys exist? Why would anyone cheat on their partners? Humans are going to human. Like, I just don't know why this is so hard to, like, have that nuanced conversation and say, like, yeah, sometimes humans suck. CJ says, I think Ethan and crew feel like the topic is too serious to joke about. Well, obviously, I don't know if that's true, considering Ethan's past conduct uh, about people. Um, but sure, some people feel like it's too serious to joke about. Obviously, like, that's not a universal opinion but i think it's fair if they have that opinion hannah said didn't olivia say that no matter what abin preach say or do she still won't forgive them yeah she did now it's all now it's all they had to do was say that was fucked up yeah that's true how can i build a bridge the by bridge myself? Is, the yeah. bridge it's made of paper mache they could they can it's maybe crumbling. make a peace offering to you olivia <laughs> no I'm it's not mean, happening is the damage done i that bridge is i burned. don't really what I can move forward in what if my they said life sorry? with things, but I don't really forgive. If they said, that. you know what, sorry, we said that, we didn't know anything about you, we Whatever. were wrong. Ooh. I really? I feel like Olivia is usually so quick to forgive, too. It really depends. Production says, why are you moralizing this? Am I? You'll never come to a consensus. Abba and Preach can think it's fine and East 3 can say it's fucked up. Just your opinion? Or are you saying it's a fact? No, I'm just saying it is what it is. There's no objectivity here. The only thing that's objective is what the intention of the joke is. Because again, the joke can only mean one thing if it was intended for one purpose. But they're not getting the joke. So I guess you could say the joke 
is being perceived incorrectly. I don't think the joke can be understood subjectively. I think there's only one meaning for the joke. So misunderstanding the joke is misunderstanding the whole point. But I think their opinions at the end of the day are subjective. So it doesn't matter. Like I think Ethan and H3's crew is wrong only because they're misunderstanding the joke. Like they still haven't accurately explained the joke. So I think that that's probably only the only thing that's actually wrong wrong. But, you know, they can misunderstand jokes all they want, right? I'm used to it. Because yeah. it was, and it is, and it always will be. Yeah. That was one okay, of the... Okay, then she's said it always will be, right? It always will be. Okay, cool. She sounds like, that's what I mean. Isn't everyone such in a bubble? Being gay will always be wrong. There's no way around it. It's always the same. Is everything always the same? Where's the nuance in existing? Could it be right at any situation or is it always wrong? And if it's always wrong, where did you form that value? All values are subjective. They're a part of your evolution as a creature over millions of years. And they're a part of your understanding of the world based off of the culture you were born into and the brain you were given. So when you come to these conclusions, they're limited to your understanding of the world, which is totally fine. Th that was the one thing that I think of all the stuff that, they responded to us about was the most fucked up one. And this is the video they erased in disgrace. Mm -hmm. And I think a big part of it was because of the way that they patronized yeah, you. They deleted it quick. Yeah. And um, from their masterpiece called H3 Loves Black People. These guys have no fucking limit. Um, uh, so no bridge? I said that you <laughs> no. missed it, but the bridge is... <laughs> I stepped up. It's a bridge to a fucking cliff. See, Abin Preacher, that's called comedic timing and when to know land a joke. That's the other thing. Abin Preacher are successful comedians. And they keep pretending they're not comedians. They are literally successful, bro. They're literally, they're good at their jobs. They keep, they were so insulting when they saw Preach. Like, apparently Preach is like a small celebrity in Ontario. You're so rude. You're so rude. They're not just small celebrities. They do really fucking well for themselves. And they're known. Like, again, maybe they're not, like, Netflix special known. But, like, Ethan is literally only known in a certain ecosystem. We're all only known in our ecosystems. Ethan is such a small fish in a pond. but he Or such a big fish in a pond. Small pond that he thinks, like, again, what are these weird petty insults to preach and everybody? Why are you pretending like they're not comedians? You know what? I, it's just so weird. Like. It's like they can't give people any credit if they hate them. See, that's where I look for bias and prejudice. I can say, you know, for all of Myron, Fresh and Fit's bullshit, they are incredibly successful businessmen. Well, at least Myron is. And it's very frustrating to see, but damn, he good at it. Something you will never understand. Ooh. <laughs> oh my God, they're not comedians. Well, I don't know. <laughs> Discord says, bro, I didn't even know Ethan until you, Brit. Wow. Well, you're welcome about that because Ooh. preach is a professional comedian apparently allegedly he's a he's an whoa 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 humble says they do four hour podcasts Eben preach edit to 20 so Eben preach do live street life they do live performances and travel globally to do their comedy abba and preach literally go on tour globally they go international bro so you're mad because their youtube setup is to do youtube videos Abba is a stand-up comedian. Yes, they, him and Preach literally do shows globally. They travel internationally. Just because you're not aware of it doesn't mean they're not fucking doing it. An alleged comedian. Yeah. I don't want to defame the good comedians of Quebec. <laughs> <laughs> See, like they're so... <laughs> Bro, the world deserves itself. The world deserves itself. The world deserves itself. Jesse says, I will say I'm pretty deep down the reach three bubble and it is always hard to have nuance with Ethan because he presents most things black and white and that's what the bubble expects. Fair. You know what I'm saying? It's so fair. Jesse goes on to say leftovers. The Hassan and H3 pod had such good, um, had too much friction because it's so difficult for Ethan and the crew to have nuance that doesn't reinforce the H3 bubble. You're right. And it's hard, but that's, you know, it's okay. It is what it is, right? Such an insanely hurtful thing so, to say one about more time just to drive the point home the woman ever it's a very <laughs> humiliating experience so this to is go all their editing like that and for for anyone to assume and that like thank you to not olivia by the h3 by the way something is them like wanting to boost their <laughs> 
Oh, you. You. <laughs> you. You're being naughty. That's you're what, being naughty. And again, they'll, they'll try, mean. they're going to try to deny if they do respond that, dude, we didn't, we were doing that because we knew it was fucked up. We were just laughing because it's funny. What does this mean? Yeah. This is how you, like, let's not fucking be obtuse about this. Yeah. Also, they're watching the raw footage. They're not watching the funny edit that they made. They're just watching me talk. And then they paused it oh. and then they laughed. I question that. That's not true. No. Wait, is Livia wrong again? That's not true. They watched the one with the edit. That's why Preach said, oh my god, you edited it that way. And Wait, now I'm confused. Maybe not? Wait. Because why else would he be laughing? I, I think they're I feel like laughing Abba at must me. have edited it before. I feel like they're laughing at me. Go to therapy. Get a better therapist. Get a therapist that knows comedy. They're not laughing at you, white woman. They're not laughing at you. They're not laughing at you i like how she said she feels exactly uh that's so cute about your feelings <laughs> i fucking hate ben shapiro Dude, olivia why are you making me evoke the shapiro bro exactly you feel that way it's not even true though girl that's why trauma is so fucked up that is why mental health is so fucking crazy. And that's why bias is crazy and prejudice. You don't even need mental health to misunderstand people. You don't even need a mental health problem to misunderstand people. You just need a, a cultural background that doesn't give you the tools or family that didn't tell you or any, like, literally. Our hand. You think? Well, because otherwise, that's psycho. Like that's I just what I assume. I, I, I mean, don't, uh, don't you do editing and post? Yeah. Uh, absolutely. I've never done that where I edit something. Well, I mean, not like it doesn't make sense to me that he would have edited it beforehand. <laughs> right. I agree, but then I don't know why Preach is laughing. That's like just that. how. That's how I've always read it. And he's looking at Abba like you did this shit. Yeah. Maybe he said something that they cut out. Maybe, or they're just yeah, giggling because they're like, she. Oh my god, this bitch. Well, you can hear the playback from whatever they're watching it on. Well, for that slight oh, second. Really? Well, th they definitely edited it afterwards because the it's the Amber Heard is overlapped over them, right? Over their video footage. If you go back two seconds. Well, that. Well, yeah. I, if you go back. Well, they, they 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 edited. He uh, sh what I think he showed him the video and then he edited it afterwards. Yeah, but that's. I think they showed this raw footage because this is the same image that was over the other one, if that makes sense. Uh, this image is overlaid he, after they recorded their reaction. Yeah, he. I'm saying that if he made the video beforehand, they watched it on a monitor and then he put it in. Yeah, and then edited it again. Yeah, I, I think the law. What is this? What is this law and order research? What's going on? What's going on? Oh my God! Yes, Tori. Great example. Oh my God! Tori says, "Think of Zineb and Cole, the cutie situation. Zineb was wrong, but she was seeing it from a traumatized POV. You remember that? I covered that too." Zeneb is so traumatized that she saw Cole as like this villain. Everything he said was villainous. Everything he said was to attack her. So when she quoted him verbatim and accurately quoted him, she said it in a tone that was inaccurate. When you rewatch the clip back, he doesn't say it in that tone. She misheard it in that tone. Do you guys remember that from Love is Blind? That is exactly what I'm talking about. And with love and peace, this is why we need more representation about mental health or about bias and prejudice or about community differences. Because what is normal to you in one community isn't normal to other people, right? And so again, when you hear something, you you make a lot of assumptions about people that aren't true, right? Like something they said about Preach that I kind of didn't like either. And again, <laughs> is they said like, oh, Preach is like from Quebec or whatever. He's not even really French. Well, first of all, he's also Haitian, and Haitians also speak French. And yes, they're not France, like French, France, French. But like there's something interesting about not knowing like cultural interesting facts about where people come from that I think Ethan tries to whitewash in people that I don't really love, but that's okay. You do you. I just think like Abba and Preach are so much more interesting than Ethan thinks they are because he keeps trying to play them off like white guys in the menosphere. Like, or like Menosphere guys, or like, they're not the same. Like, they're not the same group of guys, right? And I understand why you might have thought they were at some point, but the people they are now is not true. Okay, let's keep going. Logic behind it makes sense too, because the way they talk about Olivia being a loser researcher who spends all her days on Reddit, 
I mean, they just assume she's a girl, some leftist girl who's never experienced. She called her a feminist too, feminist. which was the cherry on top. Yeah, which, so, just oh. some girl. Girl, do you really? Is she not a feminist? <laughs> been through anything? Have, do you really care about essay, you feminist loser? No, I'm literally such a freak. You are a freak. See how they're doing that? It has nothing to do with the essay. She doesn't really care. She doesn't. She only cares about victims of essay. But she doesn't care about how, but she doesn't care about the whole spectrum of it. Look, false accusations are very bad for rape victims. Listen to Mama Simon. False accusations are very bad for rape victims. They will use that as evidence of why you should never believe a rape victim. Because when it is found out through evidence, video recordings, text messages, that a woman has lied about her rape, they will use this against victims. We should be very harsh and understanding at the same time of people who lie about being assaulted, meaning we should acknowledge that it's very bad. And then we should do something in order to make those people rehabilitated. Maybe they need mental health uh, intervention. Maybe they need an understanding. Maybe the law needs to come into it. I don't believe in punishment, so we have to figure this out. But false accusations are incredibly bad for rape victims. So again, I think Olivia wants to protect rape victims, just not in all ways. Because in order to admit out loud that some people lie about rape, it's, again, will send a message to the people that already are doubting you that, oh, see, some people lie, so everyone's lying. And it's like, not that everyone is lying, but that's the bias of humans' brains, right? That's the bias of humans' brains. Freak, yeah. freak. But that's that's the thing. Even following that line of thought and saying that uh, they didn't know anything about Olivia going through anything, they never apologized in a general sense mm -hmm. for that being fucked up. Like you said, they doubled down. But why is it fucked up? You're not explaining why it's fucked up. That's all I want. If they can, they can't explain the joke though. I wanted really when I was like, hey, let's do this bridge building thing. Cause... But but Olivia already said they won't. She won't forgive them no matter what they do. So what's the point? Frankly, uh, unfortunately, I had forgotten about a lot of this stuff because it's, it's been so, so long. much. It's so much shit. <laughs> yeah, there was a it. lot of back and forth. By the way, uh, preach or he's preach, right? The one that preach was is the about. the. Uh... You don't even know who's who. There is no fucking way if I made a video and I was like, who is that? Is that Dan? Is that, a, is this one Olivia? They'd be like, You're, what? they don't even know which one Abba is and which one preaches. Abba's the gay one and preaches the daddy. <laughs> Abba's been extra sussy the last few videos. I'm just kidding. Once again, they're all jokes in good faith. The dancing, singing right, omelet I, I think of knowledge. I think Olivia could give you some vocal lessons too. <laughs> Oh, Thank you we're coming that. after his voice. Now, he's a, his voice was okay. Nah, I'm just, but fuck Who's him. I? <laughs> Have you heard Olivia do um, Toxic Gossip Train? You should really, you could right. learn. Toxic or after. Gossip Train. Because if it was after, this is really crazy. I mean, it's crazy either way you cut it, mm -hmm. but. <laughs> 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 The only other options he said something super fucked up that they cut out. Mm -hmm. mm. Juicy says, Brittany, is it, is it, uh, it is self explanatory for them because it is Olivia's feelings, which I think is fine. Which I think is fine. You know, if you want to prioritize her feelings over facts, <laughs> Ben Shapiro somewhere in the world's like, <laughs> they're talking about me. And then, they made I just it. look stupid. Yeah. <laughs> so is so incredibly wrong and uninformed and uninformed that like you one million percent should not be so, making content about this because you're Thomas says is this a general issue of triggered people becoming activists? I think all people experience a trigger at one point in their life. Um but I think it makes sense that people would become activists who have experienced trauma because they want to change the world so other people don't hurt the way they did. So when a guy in the military gets triggered and his PTSD is triggered, he might become an activist because he doesn't want other soldiers um, hurting their family and friends because they've been triggered, right? Because of fireworks on 4th of July. So it makes sense that you would become an activist. Uh, generally speaking, I do think it makes sense that activism is a place of trauma because why would you ever need to become an activist if you weren't suffering? Activism is a call for action because there is suffering. And people who suffer can either push down all their feelings and act like they're not there, which is not a solution in my opinion to be introspective, or 
they can be open about their feelings, but sometimes the process of getting to know your feelings means you're a little messy for a while, okay? I'm showing this just to see how they cover their asses after it. Oh yeah, they can't tell the difference between Ab and Preach. Another point towards racism. Thank you, Val. Thank you for pointing that out. Another point towards racism. Ethan needs to take points from Hassan so he knows how to be not racist. And you're telling young women to not talk to each other, to not talk to anyone, to not tell anyone that something happened because idiots like you. And you know what? You sound like a feminist loser, though. Yeah. I'm just going to interject. <laughs> That's a great quote, though. It's not. But I also make the same jokes because, like, look, especially look, if I'm around conservatives, guys, I'll defend progressives to such a T. When I'm around progressives, I defend conservatives because y'all piss me off. Everybody talks like a moron about other people because you guys don't understand what they're going through. It's like you don't understand their lived experience is as complex and nuanced and deep and tragic as yours. You might hate progressives. They are suffering the way you feel like you are suffering. You're so worried about black people. They're suffering the way you're suffering as a white person. White people are suffering. Everybody is suffering. Everybody is suffering globally. Okay? So this idea that like you're all playing a game of who's suffering the most I understand your desire to play that game. I think it's a mistake. I think it's okay to acknowledge that, yes, I'd rather lose my left arm than my right arm because my suffering would increase if I lost my right arm. I think it's okay to say I'd rather have a uh, fibro than lupus. I think it's okay to say, yes, I as an individual would prefer, I as the individual would prefer, I as the individual. But when we're talking about collective groups of people, I'm okay with the humor. I make men jokes all the time. I make white people jokes all the time. But make sure that when we're really talking about the consciousness and people in general, we're recognizing outside of the jokes, people suffer. Okay? People are out here suffering. So playing this game of like, but you don't suffer the way I suffer, honestly, go watch a sunset because that's all you're good for, bro. I do. If you I don't do. know who Lubia, she's the loser feminist researcher who spends all her day on Reddit boards and thinks that's research. Okay, Sorry guys, I'll take it back. Yeah, so do we have that part unedited? Also, it is research, but also Olivia is sometimes wrong with her research. So to be fair. Or is it in this video even? So what wasn't working or anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah I was so trying then, to send a Discord. It's our message. internet. 99.9 .9 downtime, baby. Let's go. We're back. We, we're we're running our own fucking fiber optic cable in here. That's right. That took months and cost a lot of money. Back. I mean, to be fair, it's, <sighs> it is pretty good. Yeah, it's, it's pretty, pretty reliable. It pretty We've good. had it for years, and it's only come gone down a handful of times. Yeah, it's toxic. So anyway, I was talking about. I don't know where it started to stutter out, but. I'm just, I want to show you guys the original to show you how these cowards tried to dodge accountability. So here is uh, when we played the soundbite. Such an insanely hurtful thing to say about any woman ever. It's a very <laughs> humiliating experience to go through something like that. And for, for anyone to assume that like, someone claiming being a victim or surviving something is them like wanting to boost their ego is so incredibly wrong and in and uninformed that like you 1 million percent should not be making content about this because you're teaching young men who don't know anything about this and then you're telling young women to not talk to each other to not talk to anyone to not tell anyone that something happened because idiots like you old ass idiots like you oh, Abba is literally younger than me isn't he or is he older than me? Whoa. Whoa. I mean, Preach is almost 40, but um, that means Ethan's also old. <laughs> we'll say hey, I'm an old ass idiot. Yeah, thank you, Ethan. Yeah, but you're not you're not mean and you don't tell girls that they're lying. Ethan is the biggest bully on the internet. Ethan is one of the biggest bullies on the internet. Ethan is one of the biggest, he's my favorite bully. I love watching Ethan bully people. But if you think Ethan is not the biggest bully on the internet, girl, are we watching the same man? What is he, are we watching the same man? Ethan isn't mean? <laughs> Lying. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Vibe check. Man, this whole group just fucking lies to each other. I love that. That's 
some people want this love. I don't give this to my friends. I break my friend's heart in the most neurodivergent way. I would tell my friends, ah, oh, nah, bro. You're fucking mean as shit, bro. Why do people do this? Why are they gas eat it up like this? Like he's not one of the meanest fucking people. Say, no, no, no. Young girls act like that. Young You're girls lying. act like that. Women when really lying. what's happening is that a young girl is 19 dealing. 19 year old. Yeah, a 19 year old. Was tried to get picked up by a 35 year old. Yep. And you know what? You sound like a feminist loser, though, if yeah. I'm just going to interject. I do. <laughs> I do. I'll Olivia say it again. Is, she's the loser feminist researcher who yeah. spends all her day on Reddit boards and thinks that's research. Okay? Sorry, guys. I'll take it back. <laughs> yep. Reel it back in. That was what they said when he's like, oh, they, they put that soundbite in the middle of the monologue. They did that. He goes, they did that. Fuck so, no, man. So dumb. Wait. So now they're saying that Zach didn't put that soundbite in and that Abba and Preach were saying that? What we did is par for the course, standard, totally well-timed, mm -hmm. okay? You guys are trying to dodge the fucking accountability that you put the Amber Heard, you put- H3H3 is claiming they used Abba's voice as the soundbite, which isn't true. They're cl he's claiming Abba used the soundbite or that Ethan used the soundbite. What? The sad music, you put the zooming in. That yeah. was the problem. But that what they admitted to that. I'm gonna literally unalive myself right now. What? Am I stupid? What? Abba and Preach know they put in the Amber Heard music. They're saying that soundbite of Abba we just heard. That was Zach, right? Now I'm very fucking confused. Isn't that what they're are we all talking about different sound bites? Spends all their day on Reddit boards and thinks that's recent. That voice. Abba's voice right there. Zach put that voice in, right? And that's what Abba was referencing to preach. That they put that voice in, but Abba and Preach put in the Amber Heard edit, obviously. Okay, I'm right? Okay, then what the fuck? Why is Ethan saying this? H3H3 is saying that Abba and Preach added the music in the picture. Yes, but Abba was saying that no, H3 added the music. No, Abba is saying they added this clip in, not the picture. No, I read Abba's DMs to me. Guys, in the ab. No, no, you're all fucking wrong. You're all so fucking wrong, bro. No. Abba and Preach admit their edit has the music in the picture. Yes. 1,000. That, their editor or them put that in. Yes. When Abba was referencing the soundbite that H3 added in, he's talking about this moment right here. This voice of Abba saying she's a dumb feminist. That's the reference to the soundbite ABBA is referencing. Are you, am I, what is happening? How can you not see what's going on, bro? The music is the, by ABBA, the soundbite is Zach's. Yes. So what are they lying about? Yellow says, I'm telling you, it's because H3 is trying to farm drama. What? Why is he, they never denied this. Look, my DMs from ABBA say, yes, thus the Amber Heard fade in. Yes, very funny. Abba isn't denying that. Nobody, everyone's thinking that's a funny edit. The part Abba was referencing as an edit from Zach is not the Amber Heard Faden, you dumb fucks. It's this soundbite of Abba saying she's a feminist. This is why the world deserves the way it is. This is why the world, human's gonna human, buy my merch, guys. Human's gonna human, buy my merch, guys. Everybody buy a sweater. Buy a sweater and tell me, like, this isn't the most human fucking shit you've ever seen. Get the get the premium hoodie. It's my favorite. I love this fucking, oh, I love this sweater. Get the Humans Gonna Human merch. I cannot fucking, what is happening, bro? What is happening? That wasn't very clear in the Abba and Preach video. I also thought it was the violin music Amber Heard thing. I didn't. Well, I saw the original video, to be fair. Because I saw the original Abba and Preach video, I knew that Amber Heard thing was their edit. Okay. Sorry, guys, I'll take it back. <laughs> yep. Reel it back in. That was what they said when he's like, oh, they, they put that soundbite in the middle of the monologue. They did that. He goes, they did that. Fuck no, man. So dumb. What we did is par for the course standard, totally well-timed, mm -hmm. okay? You guys are trying to dodge the fucking accountability that you put the Amber Heard, you put the sad music, you put no, the- No, they admitted that. Zooming in. That was the problem. They admitted that. That was not- How could a miscommunication be so- f This is the biggest miscommunication of the world. Holy shit, bro. 
This is a huge, I've never seen a, I'm gonna, holy shit, bro. No one's lying. Askerton says someone's lying. No one's lying. Listen to Auntie Brittany right now. Nobody is lying. They literally don't understand. They're not lying. H3 and the crew are that fucking dumb. They're not even lying. They have no idea. They can't keep up with the conversation. They literally can't keep up with the conversation. I love them so much. Oh my God. They're like sweet little babies. They're sweet little fucking babies. Jesus Christ. They can't even keep up with the car. Listen to Ethan right here, baby. Oh my God. I'm going to cry for him. Yeah. Oh my God. His, oh my God. It's all already on Reddit boards and Listen. things that's research. Okay. Sorry guys, I'll take it back. <laughs> yep. Reel it back in. That was what they said. When he's like, oh, they, they put that soundbite in the middle of the monologue. They did that. He goes, they did that. Fuck no, man. So dumb. What we did is par for the course, standard, Listen. totally well-timed, okay? Mm -hmm. You guys are trying to dodge the fucking accountability that you put the Amber Heard, you put the sad music, you put the zooming in. That was the problem. I can't even be mad. This is like watching someone you love so much just misunderstand something so hard. And you're like, babe, please, I'm begging you to see this. That was never in denial. That was the joke. How could the joke have been made without the Amber Heard reference? Abba literally DM'd me. Abba DM'd me. And he admits, of course he does, because that's the joke. Thus the Amber Heard fade in. Yes, Abba. Yeah. Brittany, go on H3 and explain. I would love to explain it to them. I fucking would love it. I love H3. I'll explain it to you guys. Like, I'm happy to explain it, but I don't understand how everyone on that, someone on that crew is not speaking up. Someone on that crew is not speaking up. There is no way everybody on that crew missed the joke. There's no way this miscommunication is real. There's just no way all of you missed the joke. All, Ab and Preach never denied that they edited, edited in Amber Heard. H3H3 H3 make a video about that woman with Myron <laughs> saying women don't lie. Abram Preach make a video replying to Olivia with the Amber Heard overlay. Okay, sorry, my nerd, I'm really trying. Okay, so first H3H3 H3 make the video with Myron and then show that the girl is lying and show Olivia saying women don't lie and doing the Amber Heard overlay. Then H3 reacts to that video and they react getting upset that eight that Oh my God, App and Preach put in the edit of Amber Heard. And then H3 re-watches re, re the video of Ethan recently doing the review. Oh my God, I'm gonna myself. Then the edits of what we're seeing now are all out of place. So, oh my God, I'm so exhausted. So basically, no one is lying. Peanut Butter Pop School says, who is lying? No one is lying. Everyone is just misunderstanding what is happening. This is a complete misunderstanding. Nobody is lying. H3 and his crew are too fucking dumb to lie. Okay, so some people said in Discord, not gonna lie, I thought they said H3, H3 did the Amber Heard and sad music too. Hold on. I don't know why we're doing it this way. Where's Abba and Preach? Uh. This is the new video. This is the one that just came out from Abba and Preach. So Ethan, just in his comment, said that Abba and Preach were lying about the edit. But listen, listen to, listen to Abba. Uh, it's phobic, misogynistic. But people who aren't racist, who aren't misogynistic, are tired of being called fucking racist misogynist pieces of shit by people like you because people are tired of being like feel like they're racist misogynist pieces of shit from the social justice warrior movement where you can't possibly say anything without offending someone this cult of outrage people are sick of it be trying to ruin men's lives it's clo it's just what they do i'm gonna go out of my way to lie i don't like okay. him so i'm just gonna go lie about him insulting me that is such an insanely hurtful thing to say about any woman ever it's a very <laughs> humiliating experience to go through something like that and for for anyone to assume that like someone claiming being a victim or surviving oh, something is them like, like wanting to boost their ego is so incredibly wrong and, uninform and uninformed that like you one million percent should not be making content about this because you're teaching young men who don't know anything about this and then you're telling young women to not talk to each other, to not talk to anyone, to not tell anyone that something happened because Idiots like you. And you know what? You sound like a feminist loser, though. If yeah. I'm just going to interject. <laughs> I do. If you I don't do. know who I'll Olivia is, she's the loser feminist researcher who yeah. spends all her day on Reddit boards and thinks that's research. Okay? Sorry, guys. I'll take it back. 
mind you, that's not me editing, but they added it to the soundboard, and right in the middle of which he's talking, they started playing that shit. That's fucked up. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's fucked up. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you can tell her. You know, you can't it up. <laughs> okay. So he's referencing the feminist soundbite. Yeah, Ethan, tell her. Tell her, Ethan. Right? Is the zoom and the Ember Earth thing? Yeah. Do you understand why we did the Ember Earth thing? Okay, so then cut. And he goes, oh, Pre Preach goes, oh, they're mad about the Amber Heard thing? Do you know why we did that? So Ab and Preach are owning that they did the Amber Heard edit to prove that some women lie. But Abba is trying to explain to Preach that the soundbite is from Zach. Are we all fucking on the same page, H3 crew? Jesus Christ. They added it to the soundboard and right in the middle of which he's talking, they started playing that shit. That's fucked up. Okay, are we all on the same fucking page? How did the crew miss this? The context is so clear. Does everyone get it now? Does ev which is why you should watch videos twice or three times if they upset you, because you might be seeing them with bias. Is everyone on the same goddamn page? That's hilarious. That's fucked up. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you can tell her. You know, you tell can't her. do it. <laughs> it's a okay, so then, cut, period, new sentence. Who placed the soundbite? Zach did. Zach admitted to play. Yes, I don't think Zach played the feminist loser soundbite in the middle of Olivia talking, but she re guys, she reacted to the soundbite. All her day on Reddit boards and thinks that's research. Okay. Sorry, guys, I'll take it back. See, I'm sorry, guys, I'll take it back. All her day on she she's reacting to the soundbite. That's why she said that. Listen. Jack. <laughs> I do. I do. I'll Olivia say it again. Is. She's the loser feminist researcher who yeah. spends all her day on Reddit boards and thinks that's research. What do you think she's saying yeah to right here? She's waiting for the soundbite to finish and then she's going, sorry guys. Right? Okay. Sorry guys. Yeah. No, so wait. that's her. You're not asking to end. And this then, one is so incredibly wrong and in it. Okay. Are we all on the same page? So H3 is reviewing is referring to the piano. ABBA is referring to that soundbite. So every time someone says the soundbite, they're both getting confused. The miscommunication is this. The miscommunication is Ethan thinks ABBA is claiming not to do the Amber Heard edit. ABBA was claiming not to do the feminist soundbite. That's what ABBA's not, the miscommunication is what soundbite are we talking about? The miscommunication is literally about which soundbite are we talking about? Ethan is talking about the piano soundbite and ABBA is talking about the feminist soundbite. Okay, Hannah says most of us understand the rest are lost causes. Real back in. That was okay. what they said when he's like, oh, they, they put that soundbite in the middle of the monologue. They did that. He goes, they did that. Fuck no, man. So dumb. What we did is par for the course, standard, totally well-timed, mm -hmm. okay? You guys are trying to dodge the fucking accountability that you put the Amber Heard. You they owned the Amber Heard edit. Preach literally goes on to say, did nobody watch the video? Preach goes on to say why we put in that edit. You put the sad music. You put the zooming in. That was yes, the problem. But they said that. They owned it. That wasn't the problem. So then we have to argue, was it a problem? No. It was a really good social commentary joke on how women lie. Not us making fun of your dumbass sound bite. Is the whole thing over semantics? The whole thing is over a literal misunderstanding from H3H3. ABBA DM'd me. I shared his DMs on stream. He literally knows what the fuck is going on. Ethan is the one who doesn't. Wolf, I will... It's your neurodivergency. Everything is fine. I'm literally having fun in streaming. Brittany seems on edge. Are you doing all right, Brittany? I'm literally making money right now. Why are you trying to cock block my bag, bro? Why are you trying to fucking cock block my bag, bro? I'm literally having a great time being dramatic. Can you please let me fucking just hang out with these gays and like have fun? Wolf, shut the fuck up. I'm literally having the time of my life. I'm literally having a almost 300 person stream right now. Wolf, why you literally think I'm losing it, bro? I'm literally a streamer, bro. I'm literally fucking entertaining, bro. I'm literally fucking entertaining. Anyways, guys, so like I was saying, what the fuck, bro? What the fuck? The other thing they're saying is their whole big uh, issue with our last video was that we claimed he was laughing at your personal experience. Mm -hmm. And I think that may have been a misunderstanding. Oh, totally. okay. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Owning up to some misunderstanding. I still, however, don't really care. <laughs> like, I think that what they it, did sucks. Yeah, but they're, the point you were making, which they're unwilling to engage with, yeah. is that you, you weren't saying that 
women never lie. You are saying you're not, which is what they say you said. You say about any woman ever. Mm -hmm. So that you, they could reduce it into something that they can easily counter instead of having an actual thought, original thought. What you were saying is that you guys are not equipped to have this conversation to your 99% male audience because I know there's no women watching that shit. Hey, 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 lots of the women in the gays watch Abin preach, but it's probably mostly men, just like Ethan is probably mostly women. I have 73% women who watch me. Thank you, girls. I love having a female audience, but I love my men's as well. If you're not subscribed, subscribe, girls, so we can bring up the, so we can beat the boys, girls. And boys, you want to beat the girls? You better subscribe. Who's going to win the gender war, guys? Because right now women are up 73%. I'm just saying, maybe that's proof that women are better. And you are giving them the wrong idea about accusers and uh, victims of essay. And she's saying, y'all, you know, need to be careful about the the messaging and the influence you guys are putting out into the world. She never said uh ev nobody ever lies. Yeah. So, well, but that is what she said, right? That is what she said. That's what she insinuated by her sentence. So if that's true, then Abram preach like it's the same thing, right? They didn't see Olivia as saying that, but I certainly did. Well, I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, I was stating that the conversation that they were choosing to have in that video is unproductive. Like, to, to platform more stories about girls lying than to platform actual, like, victims' narratives, that's an unproductive way to move forward. See, didn't I call this? I fucking called this, like, 20 minutes ago. I'm a genius. I'm so good. It's because I used to be in politics. I used to be, I used to be an activist. I, didn't I say that? I said Olivia's going to make the argument, maybe she could make the argument, that it is better to never talk about false accusations as it does add a discredit to real victims of sexual assault. Right? Right? Did I not say this? There she is. She's saying it now. And I'm saying you're a fucking scummy activist because you're the kind of activist that says the ends, um, it is better to lie and it is better to like not be honest than to be honest, right? Like I think shitty activists, the reason I left activism is because they were an activist like Olivia. They're willing to lie they're willing not to tell the truth because omission is a part of lying, you bitch. Not bitch Olivia, sorry. You bitch omission liars, my bad. But like, you know what I mean? It is a part of lying. Omission is a part of lying. Like, I get it. We all lie. But I'm not willing to pretend like people don't make false accusations because when that shit happens to you, it's real, bro. It's fucking real. You all know my story, right? The first girl I ever went down on was a conservative. And she told everyone that um, she was too drunk to consent. And then she accused like six other people in the group. And then she admitted to all of us that she was ashamed of having sex because of her conservative background. And she thought it would be better if people thought she was a victim than if people thought she was a slut while she was sleeping with married men. True story. People lie. People fucking lie. And it's not fucking okay. Especially when that shit has legal repercussions and reputation repercussions. It's not fucking okay. It's not okay. And that is the bullshit of the world we all have to live in. Olivia is not helping people in the long run because she's not willing to be honest about the nuance of how complicated it is to interact with people and why people will lie about things. And they will lie about things because of shame. People will lie that they were never raped because of shame. And they will lie that they were raped because of shame. The question is, why do you lie? Why are you lying? So when someone lies about being raped, I'm like, hey, what's up, bro? What you lie for? When someone lies about not being raped, I lied for years that I was never raped. People would ask me like, hey, you're acting like kind of like skittish and like a victim of a sexual assault. And I'm like, I am not a victim of sexual assault. And for like eight years, I would deny that I was raped. Because I was fucking ashamed. I was fucking ashamed. So on the other side of that, there is a bubble that won't, that will lie about being promiscuous because they don't want people to think that they're sluts. That is a real phenomenon that happens in very sex shaming bubbles, right? So again, when we're having this conversation, I think a lot of activists say the ends justify the means. I think a lot of activists will say, don't talk about this ugly side of things because it's already too hard. And I say, welcome to real life, you fucking babies. Life is fucking hard. You want to be an activist? Get ready to get ugly because shit is fucking ugly. 
You think it was fucking great to find out that a section of BLM was hoarding money and stealing it from people? That fucking sucks. That fucking sucks. It does not change the radical reality that black people are absolutely experiencing racism in the United States. But it fucking sucks, dude. It fucking sucks that a chapter of BLM, the BLM organizers, were stealing money from black people. It fucking sucks. But that is the reality. You need to hold them accountable and you still need to say that black, black people experience racism in America. They experience so much fucking racism that their own people will steal from them because that's how much it's been internalized into their culture, into America's soil. That fucking sucks. That's life, bro. Kiwi says Olivia's a survivor, so it makes sense that she's so defensive of survivors being called liars. I am too. Yeah, so am I. So fucking am I. But I does, does not mean that it's not true that some people lied who are not survivors, by the way. Guys, you're defending people that are pretending to be survivors. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying as a survivor, we should be sensitive to people. Not should. You do whatever you want. I don't care. Okay. I am sensitive to people who lie about being a survivor because I am a survivor. Society. I think that that's ridiculous. That's a nice way to put it, frankly. Thank you. But yeah. And it is a very small number of people who lie, by the way. It is an incredibly small number, but it's still, it's still real, right? So like, you know, and maybe just don't do like silly edits over somebody talking uh, genuinely and emotionally about essay. That's a fine take. I disagree with it. And I think it's okay to have that take. I just don't think it's a universal objective um, perspective. Thank you. I agree with that sentiment as well. Okay. As a policy, that's probably a good one to follow. Mm -hmm. That's an okay one to follow. I would say it's not a bad one. It's not a good one. It kind of depends on the bubble. So again, I don't think Ab and Preach need to do that. But I think it's okay for Ethan and Olivia to set that standard for themselves. Also, statistics show that... <laughs> Many women have experienced sexual assault, so just be sensitive. Dude, like, from what I've heard, it's almost like half. Yeah. yeah. Okay, it's not half, but it is very large. Okay, it depends on the studies you look at, but it depends on also what you consider sexual assault. It also it changes because culture, culture defends, defines sexual assault very differently. Not all communities agree on what is. Consent is a, is a cultural thing. It's a construct. So even consent without, within itself is a construct we created as evolved humans. So we evolved over time and we started to say to ourselves, hey, maybe we shouldn't rape each other for procreation. And then some humans were like, no, we're still going to do it. And then some humans were like, no, we're not going to do that anymore. And we evolved over time as a social culture to like redefine what is sexual assault, which is why when I was a kid growing up, sexual assault looked different than it is now, which is why we have this idea of rape and what it is in our heads and what it means. Okay, so again, like when we're having this conversation, we're, we have to remember that we're living history. And as the humans that are alive right now, we're in middle of a huge shift in culture, which is only happening in this bubble, by the way. Other parts of the world are having their own battles. I don't know if you've heard about Palestine, but they're a little busy right now doing something else. They're not fucking worried about an Abba and Preach video. But sure, let's definitely focus on this right now. Myself included. Why? Because it's so personal to our lives right now, right? The, so do you really want to fucking do that, dude? <laughs> Half. It's so privileged to think that a woman hasn't. Mm -hmm. Oh, Has it's so privileged to think that a woman hasn't been assaulted. Fuck you, bro. Think I'm Women crazy. aren't a monolith. Like that. That's why it's so annoying to me. Fucked up. Mm -hmm. Uh, blah, 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 blah. so anyway, that was mine. That was my take on it. Their, I thought their video was lame. That their video sucked. He sent me a tweet before they posted it, being like, "Hey, let's connect before I post our response, so we can talk about." It. I said, "Okay." So I messaged him, and he sent me some voice notes saying, "Like, just so you know, I just want to clarify." P.S. Abba loves to send voice notes. He does that to everybody. I like it a lot. It makes it easier. He just sends like a little audio. It's very nice. By that, we weren't making fun of Olivia's experience. Uh, we were just saying that Amber Heard lied. So saying all women lie isn't true, which again, she never said. Mm -hmm. And um, it's Abby says, so does he see all women as victims by default? Yeah, super fucking weird position, bro. It's incredible how they distilled it all down to that one point so they could easily refute it.
mm-hmm. which is something you never said. To say about any woman ever. I listened to his voice notes and I was just taking a moment to think about it. And before I could even respond, uh, they posted this fucking video saying they accused, the crew accused us of something evil at 12 a.m. Fucking right. weirdos. Like, why did I, th- I didn't expect y'all to rush to your office and quickly film and post it at 12 a.m. I thought I had a moment to think about it. 3 a.m. Whoa, 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 whoa. They uploaded that at 3 a.m.? Well, they're on East Coast time. Yeah. What? Dude, you guys are, that's, a, that's so pathetic. You guys left your family sleeping at home so y'all could come and post this at 3 a.m. That's nuts. I don't know about this. I, this is like a weird assumption on there, and I have no idea what the timing of that video was. They look cold, too. You can see they're, like, all bundled up. Abby says Olivia wants to have her cake and eat it, too. Yeah, I think so, which I understand, but, man, who? And, and they're a new one? <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? Or is it? I mean, I think that they're on East Coast time, right? Is Montreal East Coast? Or they're in Quebec. Might be Central. Yeah. I think it is East Coast. We should make sure, though, before we... Let's see, Quebec time zone. Eastern. This is the weirdest take. They're making so many leaps of... This is what I'm saying. I get it. I make a lot of leaps as well, but like, damn, this is a crazy one. Dude, you guys posted this at 3 a.m.? That's embarrassing. You guys couldn't wait till the morning. You kind of like self-reported by doing it. I mean, they do that all the time. Like, I post videos in the middle of the night. If I'm I'm awake and I'm editing, I'll post the video. That. They're like, we had to get home. It was so evil what they accused us of. I had to get home and get up right away. No, you didn't. Not at 12 a.m. 3 a.m. Well, who's sleeping? I don't... I'm up at 3 a.m. That's usually my bedtime, technically. But also my today won't be. Today I'm streaming till at least 2 or 3 because I'm working. So, mm. Could have waited for the like morning. Their audience isn't watching our show. Nobody's watching. Like they were clamoring for a response. And nobody's watching See, YouTube. See, that's their mistake. They don't think we have overlap. People who watch Abba and Preach also watch H3H3. H3. Two at 3 a.m. pretty much. So <laughs> Even right. in my analytics, it says my audience watches both. But um, I was hoping that I was expecting that we'd have a chance to talk and I thought maybe we could work it out behind the scenes and we could come to some kind of understanding. But these guys are such uh, content hungry clout demons that they had to run home, abandon. And now he's accusing them of being good at their job because they jumped on a drama to comment about it. But like. Abin Preach, like Rock said, like they do all these posts whenever because like they're just working. Like this is this is what I mean. Why is Ethan picking at this? Why are they bothering with this? I don't get it. And their families and post a video at 3 a.m. All bundled up in the Quebec winter cold. <laughs> uh, staying very near to each other to their body warmth could could warm them. I know that squeaky ass floor, they ain't got no heater in that, bitch. Bernie. I mean, Ethan literally makes a career making sure to always talk about what's trending. Like I said, I wish I was more like Ethan so I could I could get better, you know, AdSense revenue <laughs> to always talk about what's trending. Look at me trying today, guys. Thank you for this, guys. Um, and I actually listen to Abba because, you know, Abba and I do work together, so I know him. So I'm willing to, like, you know, ask him his opinion. Discord says... Um, it's that sort of shit that makes Ethan come off as an incredibly bad faith, which makes me really not trust him or like him. Quote, you left your family to post that video at 3 a.m. The superiority is off-putting. Well, he's also assuming they have families because I guess he heard he, they had families. But, like, as far as I know, like, they don't really have kids. So, and Abba's not married as far as I know. And Preacher's wife is an independent woman who don't need no man. So, okay. I mean, the witch... They make it sound like it's just like a shack in the middle of the... Now, deck. I think Ethan's joking about most of this. If I'm being honest with you, I don't think you should take Ethan seriously. And I think you should write him off as like a dumb comic. Because I think he is really in ill-informed. I felt that way this whole time. I felt that way when he ever talked about Israel and Palestine before the Hassan moment. Years ago, I was like, listen to him talk about Israel and Palestine. He's a no shit, bro. So... Again, I always feel like Ethan is best consumed as like a dummy brother, like your brother who's really stupid, but you love him anyways. And I'm not saying that as an insult. I'm saying it as a fucking fact. You can't pull this shit and then sit on a high horse of being an intelligent or thoughtful person. Okay, you can't. It doesn't work this way. So again, 
own that you're dumb and then have fun with it. I'm a dumb comic and I say fucking shit and things. I say so much stupid shit. My company had to invest in a $20,000 button. This is Ethan because he says such stupid shit on stream. They had to bring an Ethan button in. Do you know they spent $20,000 on an Ethan button? That's how much we love Ethan. A $20,000 button because he can't keep his mouth shut. I love Ethan, right? You know? So again, like, I love him. But they needed to invest a $20,000 button because Ethan is so bad at what he says on stream. Other YouTubers, other people just got to apologize. Ethan gets a little button where they get to erase what he said 30 seconds ago. Which, by the way, is the funniest part of the streams, by the way. I love when they press the Ethan button. It's so funny. Like, I love when they press the Ethan button, for the record. Abba, Abba wrote me, can I play this on stream? Or would you rather I didn't? Oops, well, hold on. I got to ask first. Rather. Oh, fuck me. Hold on. Would you rather I didn't? Wait. Oh, answer me, Abba. I don't want to accidentally fuck up. He sent me. Okay, this video is on this. It was deleted. I'm not sure if you had it. We had engaged in Ethan's behavior and it left a sour taste in my mouth. Okay, yeah, I remember this. I remember him deleting it for this reason. Okay, Abba sent me a video. Uh, the original video from eight months ago that he deleted or unlisted, which a lot of us do, um, because it left a bad taste in his mouth. He says, this is the video from which the clip came from. It was deleted. Not sure if you had it. We had engaged in Ethan's behavior. And it left a sour taste in my mouth after putting some of the N-word clips out of context. So I deleted it. Anyways, I'm off. Okay. So that, I remember that clearly. I remember Abba saying, I took down the videos because I took Ethan out of context and it made me feel like I did him bad, basically. Okay. So he sent me the video. This is an unlisted video. I'm going to make sure the link is hidden here. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to show you guys a video. Abba's giving me permission to show it to you guys. This video is no longer available on YouTube. I'm not going to send out a link to anybody. This is a deleted 24-minute video. So we have full context. Okay? So this is our opportunity to understand the full context. Ready? With Ethan Klein. Um, he runs a podcast with his wife, Hassan Piker. Super low energy. First of all, that's a pretty funny joke. That's a pretty funny joke. Today, because watching a four-hour podcast of Ethan Klein just killed my lifespan by three years. And yet some of us do it on the daily. So, we won't try to make it through this. I condensed it to 20 minutes just for you guys, so you wouldn't have to suffer the same fate. So let's go. So they did an edit, or they condensed it down. Okay. Oh, you liars, you cowards. The thing about them, ba uh, Babylon Reach, is that... <clears throat> When you look at them holistically, you I don't think they're that much different than Fresh and Fit. And in some cases worse because I see them serving as a gateway into this really toxic manosphere, uh, transphobic, misogynistic, women be lying type of thing. They are Fresh and Fit. Okay. She basically just described their bad date. And at one point she said that he lifted up her top to see her breasts. So now they're talking about the fact that this girl accused Fresh. If you guys are just coming in, this is a deleted video. We're just trying to get the context. Abba sent it to me. We're just trying to get the context. And she was insinuating, heavily implying something extremely inappropriate happened, okay? They're trying to say it's not that kind of story. She didn't, she was just talking about a bad date. That's her story. Let's listen. Let's check it out. In this narrative, even though she said, oh, I don't think he did a crime or whatever. Listen, the way you've said this story, the way that you guys have framed it, the fact that Ethan keeps implying it, the fact that most of the people in the comments. It was one time. It was literally one time. Said that's what he but to be fair, in the same, again, miscommunication is such a unique phenomenon with humans. And I know we don't mean to do it, but it happens so naturally within us. So Ethan, I remember watching that Ethan live show live. And I remember thinking, bro, he's really pressing this girl. And so the way I took it, and maybe it was wrong, was that Ethan really wanted this girl to say that Myron R-worded her. Like he really wanted her to say it. Which is why so many people were upset because now we all had to come and defend Myron, who we all don't like, right? What he did, we all understand what you're framing, okay? You can't say, I didn't say he did that crime. There was no framing. There wasn't really even a crime alleged. It was just, he's an embarrassing loser. Oh, wow! Hold up, preach, preach, <laughs> preach, 
preach, preach, just, 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 just. Yo, this is good. So if that's the case, it's kind of why, like, when we talk, we're all insinuating different things. And I understand it, too. It's true. Our bias will have us hear whatever we're hearing. So when you compare people to people or you say certain things, people are like, what did you just say? Okay. Okay. And Ethan, you're right. Raheem says, Ethan, always, uh, always never taking responsibility. The usual. Ethan is very bad at taking responsibility for anything he does. Which is, you know, maybe he's just a spoiled kid growing up or something, but that is absolutely true of Ethan. Good. I'll tell you just what. Was kind of right. like the thrust of the call. And who's absolutely. framing when they're titling their video fake Me Too allegations when that was no allegation. It wasn't a Me Too it was, allegation. It was, just, it was, I went on a pseudo date with. If it wasn't a fake Me Too and it was just that, then that, see, I don't understand. Hmm. It doesn't really follow though. Again, this is so like their, their little bubble and everything. Because if it's, if they're saying it was casual, we should, now we have to go, wait, I'm sure Abba and Preach will show it. Okay. This fucking weirdo. Right. And it was a horrible experience. You have no story. Yeah. And she never claimed that he did that. She never fucking claimed it. This, this is a bad, this is very bad. I think like he may have assaulted you. I mean, I, I think he may have assaulted you. At this point, I, did he lead with oh. tongue or no? All it's that. So he makes a joke about assault. So he says, I think he may have assaulted you and then jokes about assault. So Ethan is safe. Ethan has joked about assault a lot. That's a joke about assault, guys, in case you're not picking up on the sarcasm. What happened, right, is that you at one point said that sounds like that might be assault. And she said, no, I don't. There was one brief moment where she said he lifted up her top. You didn't say that's assault. You said that kind of sounds like assault. I mean, I don't know. We it does kind of sound like that. And, and that so it does kind of sound like an assault. So let's make a joke about it. Did he start with tongue? Hey, when he assaulted you, did it start with tongue? <laughs> and it. Myron goes, yeah, it happened. And I made fun of her lopsided titties, too. <laughs> Jesus. Insane. Like, what? again, he, he that clip that they showed, based off of what she described... I don't think it's that big of a stretch for you to ask that question. He lifted up her shirt and she was very uncomfortable Does that by not it. sound bad? He shouldn't have lifted up her shirt. That's fucking crazy. He didn't dispute that. It's I fucking crazy that he lifted up the shirt of a girl who tried to sleep with him, stayed at his apartment, and was upset she didn't sleep with him. Remember, that girl wanted to sleep with Myron and was upset he negged her. If you guys don't know, negging is when you insult a girl, right, to like, trying to get her to want your affection more. So he was like, your titties are lopsided and your breath smells. Go get some breath wash so or mouthwash. That way she would like be insecure enough to still want to sleep with him because she already wanted to sleep with him. But Myron needed to play the game of like making fun of her so she knows like who's in charge because Myron's a pussy. Myron's a bitch. He's a bottom bitch, right? Okay. I ask you guys, what do you call it if somebody lifts up somebody's top to expose their breasts without their permission? Okay. So now they're claiming it's without permission. But we know she wanted to sleep with Myron. There wasn't really even a crime alleged. Is that just a joke? Or is she just, he's entitled to do whatever he wants to her because it's 5 a.m.? There wasn't really even a crime alleged. He did lift up her shirt and look at her teeth. Now, if somebody does that without your consent, what is that? What is that, kids? Does anybody know what is, what is it? But see, without your consent. But we know she consented. Hmm. It wasn't a me too. If you guys are just coming in, Abba sent me this deleted video. This is a deleted Abba and Preach video. Abba himself have sent it to me and given me permission to post it. So just so you know... Abba did take this video down because he was not happy with the way that he took Ethan out of context within the framing of this video in relation to the N-word. So that's why it's not up anymore. So just FYI, see Abba has, say it with me, values. You know why I like Abba? Because I can consistently expect him to take down misinformation or correct himself. That's why I like Abba and Preach. Unlike Ethan, who doubles, I love Ethan by the way, but he doubles down. And he, he, he allows misinformation to continue like we're seeing right now. That's why Ethan feels distrustful to so many people. So we are watching a full video from Abba and Preach right now that is deleted to allow us as an audience context because I am friends with Abba. And I appreciate that effort that he's trusting me with this right now. Because again, I like Ethan, but he can't lie about people like this, bro. 
He can't lie about people like this. It's not okay. Especially after he went after Jake Doolittle. I went after Jake Doolittle. Was what Jake Doolittle did was wrong. Yes, we all agree. Jake Doolittle was absolutely wrong. So is Ethan. So is Ethan. Well, they're more they're more concerned with 35 year old Myron's. Yeah, being exposed as being kind of crazy. No, we're not concerned with Myron. We're concerned for people who make false allegations and particularly Ethan, who perpetuates a stereotype that women who are in completely consensual situations are allowed to then claim it's not consensual or are allowed to be convinced it's not consensual. How many of y'all have been in completely consensual situations and your friends have tried to convince you it was assault? That's a real story some people have to live through. And then women feel so shamed in their bubbles, feel so much shame, they agree that it's assault just because they don't want to be made fun of by their friends. There was no framing. There wasn't really even a crime alleged. You're not 35. It's crazy to me that they're claiming that there wasn't anything alleged or there wasn't any framing, yet in this very podcast, they're still framing it like this man What are we talking about? He just said it. What are we talking about? How could Ethan say he's not alleging it and then, again, redo it? <sighs> Why? Why is this happening? Why is Ethan doing this? Midden says this is an optical win for ABBA when all this is said and done. ABBA and Preach have been consistent. You might disagree with their opinions, but they took down. This is a, this is a deleted video that ABBA sent me. Because he has enough, what's the word, guys? Like, um, respectability. He has enough respect for himself to say, this isn't what I meant to say, purely. So just FYI, there's a part of this video that Abbott isn't exactly, you know, because he took Ethan a little out of context in relation to Ethan saying the N-word in the past because, you know, Ethan loved the N-word. Ethan, <laughs> Ethan loves black people. And so um, there's that context. And I think that shows that Abbott plays the bigger character. He has a big, he's a bigger character. Than Ethan, who doubles down. Well, what is it? You integrity. Mean? Thank you. Uh, yes, Rock. Yes, Love. Yes, everybody. Yes, Abba and Preach have integrity, which I fucking love coming from them because I know for a fact that there is a stereotype that they're somehow red pillars and horrible people, but they do have integrity. They really do. Oh, what does it mean? What does, what does it, it mean come? when you lift up someone's shirt without their consent and look at their. Guys, if you Google up the definitions, that shit fits right under. Mm -hmm. But you know what? Listen, Ethan, it's fine. I'm not even alleging or trying to frame it that you're some kind of anti-black individual. I'm not. I am. Um, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> okay, this is the part that ABBA, this is the reason ABBA deleted this video. Because he felt like it painted Ethan in the wrong light. And it wasn't good faith, so he took it down. This is a deleted video. I need to say this. Abba sent this video to me. This is why Abba has integrity. He took down this video because there is a joke somewhere in here that H3H3 H3 is really racist because, like, no one's black on the team and they confuse which one Abba and Preach are. In this recent thing, Zach literally didn't know which one was Preach. So I'm not saying. Anyways, this is the part. Abba took this video down because Abba has integrity. Say it with me. Okay, ready? <laughs> Due to me, I've already said the N-word. You can't take me down. Someone makes a uh, compilation. Yeah. It's like, here's Ethan saying. <laughs> well, who said <laughs> the <laughs> <"N> <laughs> just been around the block? Yeah, I love that. I can just <laughs> Ethan, I remember this podcast. I also watched this one when it was, you know, back in the day, him saying the F word and the N word. Again, Ethan comes from the part of the Internet all of us came from, which is why Ethan should have empathy for people's journeys. But he doesn't have empathy. He has empathy. Everyone has empathy. But he doesn't have the full empathy. Like, well, it's funny that he can't remember himself like this. And I think because he feels ashamed. Don't feel ashamed, Ethan. Let it go. Forgive yourself. And then understand why other people feel this way. They're at the stage you're at. That's why I'm so lenient on people who are a mess. I really am. Unless they, like, need to be, peg, you know, knocked off their pedestal a bit. But young people that are still saying the F word and the silly slurs and all these things, like, they're on a journey, just like Ethan was, right? Because we grow up in bubbles and our culture tells us how to speak. And we're trained as children to think a certain way. And then we're bullied as adults to continue thinking certain ways, right? Same. Yeah. Like, I feel like you're, you're using a little liberally. I love <laughs> saying.
<laughs> it's so wonderful. Yeah. Even iDubs was like, I feel like you're being a little liberal with those slurs, my bro. So now you're going to get shit for it. Guys, we're not trying to allege anything about And again, this is a joke. Abba sent this video to me. It is now deleted. Please don't take it out of context. E Abba, because he has integrity, has taken down this video. He just let me show it for context. So you guys know what's going on. Him or anything about his behavior. We're just, we're just playing some videos. And his whole thing is that he says. So he's trying to make a point once again. But Ab and Preacher are also comedians, which is, I'm assuming, why they took down the video. Because genuinely, I don't think any of us want to be held accountable for the ways we say words in a silly manner with no ill intent behind them. So I'm assuming they also took down the video because, like, it's not actually in line with, like, comedians' values. I'm generally, I'm speaking for Abba. I don't mean to do that. But that's why I'm assuming it partially wasn't honest. But at the same time, it does make that point. Is Ethan racist because he says the N-word? Black people, let me know. Is he racist or is he homophobic because he says the F word, the F slur? Gay people, let me know. You know what I mean? How do you, like, no, probably not. He probably thinks he's being an edgelord like everyone did on the internet at one point. And, and saying, you yeah. she's a hypocrite because he's. Look at this guy's face. This guy's so confused. Said, for. Oh well, Ethan said, for. And someone makes a uh, compilation. Yeah. It's like, here's Ethan saying, referring to the word and saying in a in a reference he h3 is a hypocrite oh because he said on his podcast it's like dude i think there's there's a clear difference between saying and referencing it i said he said when i me saying yo with the cigarette in hand bro be like i was at a party and said and she left and they're like oh ethan said said it just i have nothing to apologize for right that's a lot there's a lot, right? That's a lot. And in case anyone's wondering, I promise you, they're all ER. Phil says Abin preaches a great video about bullying in school district apathy. As a teacher, really spoke to me. That's beautiful, bro. They make good content. <laughs> there is no A's, and I don't think an A would make this any better. <laughs> this ain't grade school. This ain't your report card. No A gonna save your ass. This an ER. I'm talking about emergency. Let's keep watching. But what to expect from stupid. <laughs> Sorry, blacks, but most of you are easy to manipulate. Ungo, boingo, bungo, bongo. think Ethan just fucking vomit just shit out loud man I don't think he knows I'm fucking <laughs> oh fuck it's so funny he just like he just says whatever comes into his head bro <laughs> oh oh he just like oh he just says it he has no restraint he just like Everything that comes into this man's head, bro. <laughs> it's just, you know what I mean? He just, everything that comes into his head, he says out loud. It's so funny. I'm not even, oh, God, I'm crying laughing. It's so good. I'm so sorry. I Abba took down this video for a reason. And I think it's fair that Ethan has changed and he's taken down those videos and, he, and he's embarrassed by them. It's not okay to hold Ethan accountable for that past content. <laughs> um, because it's not who he is now, but he's really got to be more empathetic to people then. He's really got to be more empathetic to people because like, man, internet has given Ethan a hundred thousand chances. The internet has forgiven Ethan so much, but he can't forgive Abba and Preach. The internet has literally forgiven Ethan for so much. And Olivia can't forgive Abba and Preach for an Amber Heard joke, which by the way, wasn't even offensive. I'm pretty sure this might beat the offensive level. 
And again, this is a deleted video from Abba and Preach. And Abba, let me show this on stream, which I appreciate. And again, oh man, we want to be open and compassionate and, and loving. Holy crap. Kenny says, I wouldn't call him disingenuous. I think he's authentically stupid. I do. I've been saying this forever. I think Ethan's very dumb. I've been saying this forever. He's like, he's like Aiden Ross, or maybe levels of dumb. I've been saying this forever. Raheem says, but Ethan not only doubling down, but also copyright canceling vids from Abram Preach and stuff. It's crazy. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if he'll do that with this video. It'd be pretty fucked up. <sighs> Expire T says, you're wrong. Ethan talks about his past all the time and how he's changed. No, no, of course. But he doesn't show that same, ex he doesn't show that same empathy to other people who are learning all the same. Ethan wants the internet to forgive him, but Olivia won't forgive Abba and Preach. He won't forgive Abba and Preach. That's the point. And it's okay. You don't have to. Not everyone needs to be forgiven. So Ethan should be more understanding of people, but he's less and less understanding every time, right? God, humans are so just, humans are so chef's kiss, bro. Oh. Well, I'd like to know. Whoa! <laughs> oh. Boy, that's flagrant. <laughs> Shit! I have to hit up Andrew Schultz for this one. Let's keep watching. You got <laughs> Just hit up the Drew. Bingo, 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 bongo. Well, I'd like to know what Ab and Preach think if the KKK had a had a YouTube channel. I don't know. What do you think about it? Yeah, do we think it's suspicious that Olivia's working with Ethan? No, because people change and they're not what you think they are. Ethan is so much more than these jokes. Ab and Preach are so much more than their jokes, right? I should know. <laughs> Yo, I don't. I, I think even KKK members are watching. Like they're like, yeah, this juice making us proud. <laughs> Man, listen, it's always the most. Do you remember when Fresh and Fit and Sneeko wore the KKK hoods and were calling Abba and Preach monkeys? That's shit behavior, right? It's coming from black people. That's shit behavior. But it fucking works for some of their audiences, huh? And that's the point. Ethan realized eventually he was at like encouraging an audience to join him. That were basically racist and he didn't like that anymore. Ab and Preach have absolutely grown in their content and they're more accepting. Abba just made this great video about a guy. He's a atheist uh, debater, David, and his daughter. I know him. We worked together before. Ab and Preach made a video about them and how his daughter came out to him as doing an OnlyFans. And Abba was very progressive in his answer. Like they've really grown so much in relation to how they do their content. So I think that's really lovely. You know what I mean? There's something really beautiful about watching people grow. I really want to see the same for Ethan. Like authentically grow. I want to see me grow. I want to see all of us grow. Ethan's not growing, dude. He's doubling down on misinformation constantly. Progressive dudes who got the craziest history. <laughs> you just have to nig. Yeah. Cranked. Broke ass. But in this case, there's no, there's no context. There's what? No... He's like killing. No, I th there's no context. He's like, no. you think I'll leave her without them Doritos, dog? Nah, fool. I mean, you really just dropped the end bomb like straight up. You ain't holding down shit. You broke. You ashy as fuck. Okay, I know Abba took down this video because of these clips. So I'm going to go ahead and skip this part and go to the further context because it's long, guys. Oh my God, it's long. And because Abba sent this to me in good faith, I don't want to keep, oh my God, it's so long. Holy shit. It literally goes on for another six minutes. Okay, because Abba and Priest sent this to me in good faith, I'm going to skip this further six minutes because it's just Ethan saying racist shit for six more minutes. Damn, I, whew, girl. And I want to go to the part about Olivia again. Okay, because we're still talking about Olivia. That's what we're talking about, okay? as bad and in some cases worse because I see them serving as a gateway into this really toxic manosphere, uh, transphobic, misogynistic. But people who aren't racist, who aren't misogynist, are tired of being called fucking racist, misogynist pieces of shit. It's like Lacey Green. I've met Lacey Green. She's the tiniest, cutest little feminist I've ever met in my whole life. I met her at VidCon with one of the guys she was dating way back in the day. People like you, because people are tired of being like, feel like they're racist, misogynist pieces of shit from the social justice warrior movement where you can't possibly say anything 
Without offending someone, this call of outrage, people are sick of it. be trying to ruin men's lives it's claw it's just what they do i'm gonna go out of my way to lie i don't like him so i'm just gonna go lie about him assaulting me that is such an insanely hurtful thing to say about any woman ever it's a very <laughs> humiliating experience to go through something like that and for for anyone okay here's the infamous edit this is the this is the video abba sent me this video this is a deleted abba and preach video with the original edit so I did not get this from the internet. I got this from Abba himself. Here it is, baby. They are fully proud of this edit. It's the Amber Heard joke. It's a good fucking joke. Okay. They didn't delete this video. Remember, Olivia and them accused them of taking down the video for being pussies. They took it down because of integrity. But Ethan doesn't know what that means because Ethan doesn't have integrity. That's literally not what Ethan is known for. I'm so sorry. I love Ethan. I love them. But Ethan is not known for having integrity. So even the way they phrase this, like, oh, they took out down this video. Abba, I remember him saying it, and then he just DM'd me. He said they took down this video because it was petty behavior and they wanted to be bigger people. Cool. To assume that, like, someone claiming being a victim or surviving Survive something, something is them, them like, wanting to... Yeah, she's making clear Olivia's not talking about herself. Here's the edit. <laughs> Okay, funny. We've seen this edit. We know it. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> so we've seen this part. Go is so incredibly wrong and uninformed and uninformed that like you one million percent should not be making content about this because you're teaching young men who don't know anything about this and then you're telling young women to not talk to each other, Wait. to not talk to anyone, to not tell anyone that something happened because. Yeah. Idiots like you. And you know what? You sound like a feminist loser, though. Yeah. I'm just going to interject. <laughs> I do. If you I don't do. know who Olivia is, again. she's the loser. F that audio clip right now we're hearing of ABBA. Feminist researcher who yeah. spends all her day on Reddit boards and thinks that's research. Okay? Sorry, guys. I'll take it back. <laughs> Mind you, that's not me editing, but they edited it to the soundboard and right in the middle of where she's talking, they started playing that shit. That's fucked up. <laughs> that's hilarious. That's fucked up. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you can tell her. You know, you can't get it. Up. <laughs> Uh, and I like how she's coming out like, look at these old men. Uh, it's like, is everyone on Ethan's team mentally declining? How you gonna come at us talking about age? Ethan Klein's 37 going on 85. Like, My man aging like fucking sun-dried feta cheese. Sorry. And you gonna tell me, Ooh, these old men. Is there people that are older than Ethan on that? The guy, the big guy with a big beard looks oh, older. I don't know, bro. They all look like they could be anywhere. They, yes. they, they got that mighty morphin age going. Yeah, my no, they all look like babies. They all look like babies, except for Ethan. Any more thing white people age? <laughs> yeah, Wonder yeah, bread. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Aging like avocado. Let's go. Sourdough bread. So the girl claimed that she was stranded and she was terrified while she was at Myron's place, this creepy guy who was trying to get at her. And she demanded a ride and right, Myron wouldn't. And, and everyone's calling him a piece of shit for not giving her a ride. Everybody got data on their phone. Women be and lying. Punch the GPS, boom, you gone. I'm stranded. Uh, Bureau of Prisons, <laughs> uh, uh, down <laughs> Miami. You guys want to see how f***ing lazy these chicks are? Ten minutes. One mile. If you don't get the f That one mile walk is 26 minutes. No, this bitch needs to walk or call an Uber. It's 5 a.m. Walk. Th Why wouldn't she just call an Uber? Isn't that amazing that Ethan is making an argument that a grown woman who's in an uncomfortable situation, who's not being pinned down or trapped, isn't independent enough to call an Uber? She wanted Myron to call the Uber for her. She wanted Myron to take her home. Right? Isn't that interesting? As a woman, like, because the woman wanted to sleep with Myron. That's the problem. So the woman wanted to sleep with Myron, and Myron negged her. And then the woman and him kind of got mad at each other or something. Because she said, like, she, he was like, fine, you can leave. And she was like, well, take me home. And he was like, no. She honestly should have just Ubered if she didn't want to be there. But Ethan spread the rumor or insinuated it was unconsensual. As if... So then they wanted a person that was acting unconsensually to take her home. See, I'm so confused on what the, this is why the values, the, 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 the logic doesn't follow through, but okay. Through downtown Miami, it's only one mile. At least don't act like it's. If anyone spent any time in Brickell, you know how safe it is. I've never seen so many cops. 
Brickle is one of the safest fucking ears. These guys are making it sound like it's downtown Los Angeles. So he put it into the atmosphere, Ethan. Yeah, Doozy says it great. He gaslighted her first and then he infantilized her. Ethan put it out into the inner, like the universe that this girl was possibly like taken advantage of. And then he puts it out into the universe that like she's not smart enough to grab an Uber. But we weren't even saying she had to walk. You know how much a one mile Uber ride cost? $10 USD. Maybe she doesn't have $10. Which means she probably shouldn't be spending that money going to fresh and fit. I think you could afford to pay that for your think it's safety from a creepy a man. No, I think it's a little less than that. At least don't act like it's crazy that she asked for a ride. Don't. Guys, how many of us should ask for a ride from our rapists or our sexual assaulters? Anybody? Can, what? Are, this is what I'm saying. What is Ethan on? What is he on? What is he on? At least don't act like it's crazy that she asked for a ride. Do you want Myron to know where she lives? Don't fucking pretend that you would want your mom or sister or any female woman in your life to do that. Uh, yeah. To get the fuck out? I would probably tell my mom or anybody in my life, first off, don't be a retard who goes back to some dude's place who you don't think is a good person you think he's creepy. And Obviously, if you think Myron's such a creep, why are you trying to sleep with him? Weird, first off. But anyway, <clears throat> let's go past that. I would tell them, yeah. Don't ex uh, Amaris says, I think Myron's intention was to prove that Myron is a bad guy. So they are dissecting the girl's story to prove their point, which is so fucked up, bro. It's so fucked up. Ingrid says Ethan is intellectually disabled, bro. I think he might be. I love Ethan, but I think he's genuinely dumb. Like, I think he's dumb to be like, yo, he took your sh he, he lifted up your shirt without consent. Also, you should get a ride home from him, girl. He sounds like a good guy. <laughs> Accept a ride from a dude that you think is creep. Don't let him give you a ride back to your place so he can see where you're staying. Don't get in a car with him in isolation out in public so he can drive you anywhere and lock them. And then he knows where you live? Doors. Tintin's yeah. Fucking window I would probably tell you to either walk, get outside, get to the lobby, call a friend, call a Uber, call a taxi, call family, anything Damn. else. Yeah. I would tell you to do anything. That's what I mean. What does Ethan mean by that? What does Ethan mean? But what could he put in good faith? What could he mean by that? Like, in good faith, why would he say, don't act like it's crazy? Like, I'm really trying here, guys. Why would he say, don't act like it's weird that she asked him for a ride? What do you guys think? Ah, uh, actually, good point. Mimin says, Ethan seems a bit sheltered and not had many relationships or hookups. Maybe this is like a privilege thing. I think he comes from a good background. I think his parents are wellish off. I know his mom. I know Donna was a hairdresser. I forget what his dad did. Um, yeah, maybe he just doesn't know better or maybe, I mean, I'm really trying to like, you know, really try to understand like, what could he have meant? You know, what could he have meant by that? Anything, but ask the very person you're claiming is some giant piece of shit to give you a ride home. That don't make sense to me. Wow. Whew. Ethan mental decline in full effect. People between the ages of 18 to 34 are actually... Oh, whoa, 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 okay. First of all, um, that's a little bit of an older video, so I just want to point that out. Okay, but yes, I heard this too. Young Americans are increasingly uncomfortable with LGBT communities, Glad says. Um, I referenced this in a, in a panel once, and I couldn't find it again when I looked for it, but this says it's from time. So now I wonder if I could refine this. Hmm. Less accepting of LGBTQ people than they were over a year ago. And this dropped by over 8%. Always this mantra that young people are inherently going to be more and more liberal, but we're actually seeing the- It's actually about a lot of boys. So boys, I think Gen Z are more conservative. And actually I'm doing a panel tonight about it, guys, in about an hour. And how women are tending to be more progressive now and men are tending to be more conservative, so. Opposite thing being true. Part of why I think this is becoming true is that people are seeing some of the tactics that LGBTQ uh, activists are using in order to further their agenda. And when So again, it, it, this is like really classic bigotry where it's, it's the trans people's fault. LGBTQ uh, activists are using. I don't know. Whenever it said trans fault. Did, said, I, did, uh, did I say it's trans people's fault? No, I said Well, I, you said LGBTQA. So that includes trans people, to be fair. And to be fair, 
Ethan and Olivia are pushing centrists away from being more progressive because they are lying, taking people out of context, and they're acting like they're better than everyone else when everyone has Ethan on, like, playback for all the things that he's done and said, right? Because <clears throat> it's fall. Yeah. I, I don't think the perception of black people going down is due to black people. I think a lot of times it can be due to activists, right? Look at BLM. Whether you like it or not, that didn't reflect well on black people. Whether you but, like it or not, BLM stealing money from black people did not reflect good on black people. Because the organization Which sucks, that, by the way. That really sucks. I was supposed to fight on our behalf, but it turns out those activists were thieves, liars, and they were stealing people's and funds. And he said LGBT activists. Thank you, Visa. Yes, the activists contributed to a negative effect on the growing people, the same way activists let like yourself. And That's why politics is so important, because you got to play... You got to play it. You got to play it. You know what I mean? Other creators online and other people even in the world and the way that they engage in protests may be having a negative impact in the perception that people have of the group that they're trying to protect. That's the point I was making. That's whenever and you I have literally it. said that, mm -hmm. but because... Ethan's going to Ethan. We got this. Maybe. Now, to be fair... I can understand that from Ethan's perspective, they feel like Abin Preach's audience probably leans more right or centrist. So everything they say is going to be like, yeah, see these queer people, right? Maybe. I think Abin Preach's audience is much more nuanced than like a conservative audience. I wouldn't, I would call their audience probably more centrist. Like a lot of their viewers came into my discord, into my chat. A lot of Abin Preach viewers like me and I'm very progressive. So I really appreciate that energy. I know when I got one of the biggest boosts in my subscriber count, it was from Abin Preach viewers. So they can't be that conservative, right? Because I'm very progressive. So Anyways, you have the tape. I don't know how it's not that hard to understand the difference between sex and gender. Sex and gender are two different things. Are you guys listening? I'll explain it. Sex is your biological gender assigned at birth. It's very confusing to people. I get it. I think gender is a spiritual relationship you're having with your consciousness because it's in the meta. It's like very meta. It's very metaphysical. It's not like sex, which at least can be pointed to with some data. And that's why gender is such a lived experience to the individual. And I think that's why it's so special and unique. And it's not for people. It's for yourself. So when you make your gender about other people, I do think it's a mistake. I do think it's a mistake, right? When you make your sex about people, I think you're trying to make your sex about the binary of society, which does need pushback. But obviously, to run in a society, I think there needs to be more encouragement for people's diversity rather than anything else. But hey, diversity does also mean conservatives live there. Cons like diversity does also mean transphobes live there because that's diversity. So unless you're going to fight for the eradication of all the religious, we're going to promote diversity, right? Remember, lots of religions are anti-LGBTQA, and a lot of them got a billion members. So let's try to make peace. Okay? I'm breaking the hands. Right, I don't give a fuck. Tourette happened whenever you're more stressed. So he needs to... He it could be his Tourette's, to be fair. <laughs> it, 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 he's flaring up right now. Yeah, flaring up right now because it's just I gotta, exp I, I gotta explain that shit. I'm a hidden bigot, but I gotta explain that shit. Bruh, hey, I'm not laughing at your Tourette. I'm laughing about the fact that you're getting, you're being, you look stressed right now. Yeah, because you said that shit was easy. You're going to explain. Let's hear this explanation. Yeah, let's go. Are two different things. Are you guys listening? I'll explain it. Sex is your biological gender assigned at birth. There's female and male. All right, now let's go on to the, more, the other part, which I think you're having a lot of trouble with. Gen this is why I love Ethan. Watching Ethan explain something complex is like watching a child who's like five try to explain something. And that's why it's funny. Like, that's why it's cute to watch Ethan because he's not, that's what I'm saying. Ethan is not smart enough to listen to. He's dumb enough to enjoy. Say it with me. He's not smart enough to listen to. He's dumb enough to enjoy. That's the best part about Ethan. Gender. <clears throat> mm. Gender is how people express themselves. As a social construct. As a social construct. Yeah, hold up, hold up. Let him, let him finish his definition, bro. Because <laughs> it's funny when someone tries to look like, mm, I'm comfortable 
I'm very comfortable. You are very. going to ask me, huh? What is the concept like, of gender? You're not this com- is a sickness. Probably what this mm. Okay, brother. <laughs> brother. <laughs> we are going to talk this. Uh, okay, gender. Gender. Gender with a G or a J? <coughs> gender. Gen- <laughs> you know gender. Okay, we, same one. Okay. Gender. Mm. Man, the way, the way Ethan is struggling. <laughs> It's funny. Reminder, this is a video Abbas sent me. It's deleted now. But it's just to get context for what they're talking about in terms of Olivia and the edit and the whole thing. Again, we're just trying to understand the context of this original whole bridge burning. There's no hope that Ethan will probably ever talk to Abbas and Preach again. But know that Abbas and Preach truly came in good faith. And they obviously were right. Okay? I just don't know how Ethan and his crew misunderstood everything so hard, bro. Gender is how people express themselves. As a social construct and on a spectrum, people identify uh, with different genders based on how they feel and how they want to express themselves. Do you see that they're two different things? <laughs> Listen, he essentially just said gender. Yeah. <laughs> I would have felt like. I would have felt like. It's, pe- it's, it's people that, ex- that. Bezos says, I love H3 and Abba and Preach. Me too. Ultimately, me too. Obviously, Abba and Preach have much more, like, integrity. But, um, damn. I wish Abba was more petty and didn't delete this P content. No. I mean, me too a little bit. But also, no. That's why you've got to respect it. That's, I know. Me too. I wish they were more petty and kept this video up. But I also fully understand. Um... I fully understand. I get it. I I really respect them for taking this down, you know? The editing is so funny here. Same. Abby, I agree. The editing is so good right here. Afid says, did you see that H3 subreddit? The audience really doesn't understand Abba and Preach either. It's a bubble thing, guys. I so obviously think, like, everyone knows that bubbles exist, but they forget that they're in them. And we forget that we have bias and prejudice because of the way we're raised and our understanding of the world and our knowledge of things and how we understand things. You know what I mean? So, again, it's like, I understand why they don't understand Abba and Preach. Because they probably don't understand anything outside their bubble. It's really difficult to understand people outside of your bubble. It, it takes a lot of skill to be, you know, well-traveled and thoughtful. Like, Abba and Preacher are well-traveled. Abba especially, he travels a lot. He's seen the world. I already invited him to come here to Croatia and visit and, like, check it out. Like, he's so well-cultured. I don't know. They both speak multiple languages. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know if Ethan understands how well-cultured Abba and Preacher are. Because Ethan is such in his little, like, bubble. I don't even know if he's as traveled as them, understands anything. Like, App and Preach have bubble hopped. They have truly bubble hopped, right? And so, again, we're like, you know, I'm not saying, like, oh, my God, they're the most wisdomous people who have ever existed. I'm saying that they're obviously cultured people. So when Ethan dismisses them, it's like, sir, look in a mirror. You don't even know what's going on, bro. Like they they identify with different than genders. And it's That's how you what feel are. yeah on the day of and the spectrum and how you express yourself uh, according as a gender. You guys understand? Yeah, it's really simple. This is why I have five researchers for me, so we can come up with good answers. This is what we do. The man docked someone on a live. What happened is I really fucked up and I feel horrible ever that you have to answer for this mistake that I made it was horrible and shouldn't have happened. I'm proud of Olivia for taking responsibility for that. It was pretty bad, but I also don't want her to beat herself up over it for the rest of her life. We need to forgive ourselves when we make horrible mistakes so we actually don't make them again and so we can encourage people to want to seek forgiveness and redemption because look, it's going to be very hard for people to admit their faults if they're going to also going to have to live with guilt about it. The reason it's so hard to face yourself and be introspective is because now you have to own up to the fact that you did something and that's why it's so difficult. So you want to give a path for people to admit they did something wrong, feel a little bit bad about it or feel the right amount of bad for it within their values, then forgive themselves and move on. Because again, it's really hard to face yourself when you feel like there's no point to it. So people double down, which is what I think Ethan is doing with Abba and Preach. I have a feeling, I could be wrong, obviously, that Ethan isn't confronting Abba and Preach for real, for real, because he knows if he does, he'd have to really account for his his responsibility and the misunderstanding, which is coming basically from them, right? Huge misunderstanding. And I, 
I think that's really difficult for people to do, right? Then I will forever be making up for it. We all make mistakes. But do we actually know what doxing is? Like, that's a pretty serious... Do what the f What was Ethan's opinion on Jack Septicai? No, wrong guy. Fuck, I always say that. Uh, what was the other guy? Jack, Jack's films. What was Ethan's opinion on Jack's films? Was it doxing? What What's her name did? Even though Jack's films address was already on the internet because he put it as his business address, like a fucking idiot. Like you're so dumb. Why would you put your house address as your business address so people can fucking dox find you? What are you dumb? Anyways. Did Jack Septicai, like, is that, how do you feel about that? Because if what, what's her name did is doxing, then definitely what Olivia did was doxing, right? Do you know what, like, we said the name, which was his name mm -hmm. and his occupation. We never showed his Instagram page. Just biz we said what business he was in and it was wrong. Me. We never showed right. his Instagram page. No. You still doxed him. I'll keep it simple. I used his name and his occupation, put it into Google, his name came up right away. Then Ethan was kind enough to tell me that he was Asian. So it made it pretty easy to figure out who's who. You doxed him. You doxed him. You know you doxed him because people went out after him and you guys had to apologize for it later. You tell me where's the malice, okay? Go ahead. Was it worth all the lie? All of that? Now you just look stupid, Danielle. Yeah. I'm saying your name because motherfuckers have to know your name. The same way you try to frame a motherfucker like that, people need to know who the fuck you are. Yeah. Just so they know. Because I think we're going to have a problem here. Mm. Let's d let her, f her picture, by the way, is in this thumbnail. Now let's, let's talk about you guys, now that we've addressed that. Because I think we're going to have a problem here. But her face is prominently detailed <laughs> in the thumbnail. And, and he's literally saying, people need to know your name. Where, what the? Whoa, what the fuck? That's not even the same fucking thing. Now, this is malicious doxing. Fresh and Fit did a video on her on May 13th. We yeah, she's literally a public person. She's on the internet. What? She, what? Did our video on her on May 17th. They'd already put out all her information to the public, which he should be entitled to. If you go and make some accusations about but somebody. Also, did, wasn't she on their podcast? He should be able to put your name on blast. What about you? What about you? So my name is Danielle. So she went on a podcast for Fresh and Fit. After the podcast, she tried to fuck Myron. He ended up kicking her out, okay? Then she goes on H3H3 and tries to get more clout. And then Ethan twists the story to say that she was maybe essayed. Ethan is saying that's the same thing as doxing a completely innocent man who had absolutely nothing to do with the internet. <laughs> what are you smoking? Daniela, um, I'm 19 years old. Right now I'm not working, but I am in school. And um, my and highest- that's water, guys. <laughs> that's water. Yeah, this is the video right here, guys. And yeah. you can see her with the beanie on the right-hand side. So, okay. We doxed her. This girl's on the podcast openly saying her name and where she's from and all that good stuff. How do we dox her? That's water. And- Now I'm the doxer who needs to be banned on YouTube. You guys are- I can't even, I'm not even mad at him for it. By the way, I, I'm not mad at Ethan. Lots of people have asked me, why aren't I mad at Ethan? And it's because he's dumb. Same reason I'm not mad at Sneeko. He's really dumb. I mean, I'm mad at them, but like not really. Like a sister's mad at their brothers for being very dumb. Everybody's an evolved animal on the planet, just like me. Man, whoo. CJ says Ethan is sometimes wrong and strong. That is, yes, that is true. Damn, bro. That's sad. That's fucking sad. Yeah. Fucking monster. I always think, doesn't anyone love you enough to say, like, stop doing this? But man, you know. For this. Do you, un you do I don't think they understand how insane, how fucked up. Do I think Abba and Preach are dumb too? No. What? Abba and Preach aren't dumb. They're very smart and they're very globally traveled. Uh, when they have takes that I disagree with, they come to their conclusions on their own. What a drama queen, right? <laughs> they straw man me something that I don't even think, and then they omit Sebastian looking like a total fucking hypocrite <sighs> dumbass. I, I will say there's one thing that they covered in that interview that we didn't cover. At one point, they post up some of his Instagram photos. 
And they showcase him being a hypocrite because he's posting thirst trap. And I think you should apologize to the girl you doxxed and put her face and name out there. You need to apologize. I'm really going to show you guys evidence of this girl lying. But if you want a quick summary so you don't have to rewatch this bullshit, it's pretty simple. She lied about the fact that there's some quid pro quo. In what did he say? He's going to check. Please, thank you. It's a black wallet. Okay, cool. Let me know ASAP. Is he almost done? He said he's going to check the car, then the apartment. I'll stay on him. It should be in the car. She lost her wallet saying that like, oh, the reason why I gave Myron my number is because he had my wallet hostage. It's not true. She texted him first. None of that is true. She claimed afterwards that he was texting her incessantly and it was one sided. Not when true. See, when you see the logs and he. I need to sleep. I need my car. Okay. He shows all the receipts. You see her texting back and forth with him very enthusiastically. She makes it sound like he was really pushy for everything, everything. When it turns out in the text message, she was on that was pushing for dinner for them to meet up. She made it sound like she was surprised and then separated from her friend when she was aware from the whole time in the text conversations that that was the plan. And so every turn you look, this girl lied. She lied about being stranded. She lied about being super far. She lied about how this guy was acting. She just lied nonstop. Now, yeah, this is next last time we cover this nonsense. Uh, it's really boring. Mm. It's mm. really boring. This, that live was one of the worst lives I've ever watched. But I'll put the link in the description so you can go watch it yourself. I think this is funny. It's going to be easy money. But I also don't want to do this again. So I hope he doesn't respond because I don't. He took down this video. This is a deleted video by ABBA. I don't want to have to do this again. Okay. Thank you, ABBA, for sharing that. I really appreciate that. I'm going to go ahead and X that out. Um, so just a reminder, we're still technically not done watching Ethan's segment on Abbott and Preach. We don't have that much left, but now do we have the full context, right? An understanding of the way that they all handled it and the way that Ethan keeps doubling down. Ethan has a history of doing this, guys. If it's not okay for Jake Doolittle do to do it, it's not okay for Ethan to do it either, right? The forest or some shit. <laughs> but anyway. Uh, that's my response. I think it sucks. I think they're lame, and I think that bridge has fully imploded, man. It's collapsed you. under its own weight. I feel very supported. Thank you guys very much. Yeah, sorry if it seemed I was unsupportive last time. I was forgetting oh. a lot, and I didn't really understand what was going on. 100% understood. Uh, uh, you know. But there that is. So, I mean, that's pretty much it. I think we said it all. Mm -hmm. And shout out to, again... Chad just said I'm watching YouTube at 3 a.m. in a sad face. <laughs> okay, you know, it's... <laughs> I love our 3 a.m. watchers. Where is 3 a.m. right now? Time zone. I love our 3 a.m. watchers, but the demographics of times people are watching... Actually, that's a great point, If it says, I think the pressure from Olivia, the crew, and the audience is too much for Ethan to handle. Can I be honest with you? Even I get stressed, and I'm like a small town content creator here, but even I get very, very stressed, right? Like very stressed. So I understand if Ethan feels like very pressured by everyone. Um, and I think that's really understandable from a human perspective. But at the same time, that's why Ethan should stop picking fights with everybody. You know, I really think that Ingrid I like Olivia's makeup for the record. I know you don't like it, but I really love it. I think I'm obsessed with the way Olivia does her makeup. I think it's great, but it's like so theatrical and out there. It's obviously meant to make a statement. It's not meant to be like, oh, like my makeup is like, I'm just trying to get you guys to see my eyes on stream. But like Olivia does, I like the way Olivia does her makeup. All right, Babel and Squeak. There they are. They're back to Babel and Squeak. It'd be nice if everybody on YouTube and all their communities didn't fucking hate my guts. That's my- Do you ever think it was self-inflicted, bitch? Did you ever think, like, maybe look in a mirror, bitch? Do you ever think, like, if everyone hates you on the internet, you should probably, like, ask yourself, like, what the fuck? Did you- did you ever think maybe it might be you? Do you ever think, like, like, you're the common denominator? Hmm, who could it be? Why does everyone hate me on the internet as I literally misconstrue and lie about people time and time and time again? Hmm... Ethan, Habibi, Ethan, Habibi, Habibi, Shimod Baba Bronara Hukucha Alamin, Habibi, Ethan. My, that's my feelings when I'm like, hey, maybe we can, you know, like, uh, mend some <sighs> some bridges between communities. Like that seems like a good idea. People go, dude, why is why are you guys not getting new subs? It's well, it's because everybody on YouTube, like, you guys have noticed, if you're outside of our community anywhere. Everyone's just like hates me. 
Uh, that may be yeah. a bit of an exaggeration. I don't, I don't think so. About your right? feelings. Yeah. What are the good people like you? Say what? <gasps> Maddie wants to know how to become a member. I appreciate that so much, Maddie. You have to do it on desktop. I think the app doesn't work on the phone too good. Thank you for asking. I really appreciate that. Great people really like you. The best. Yeah. What? Wait. But yeah, I mean. Uh, Hold on. Think Talk so. Talk about your right? feelings. Yeah. What are the good people like you? A lot of the good people like you. Damn, that's some. Uh, mm. Say what? A lot of the great people really like you. The best. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, uh, sorry for, you know. <laughs> James Charles, levels of delusion. Honestly, bro. You know, Ethan asked that the other day. Why do people keep supporting, uh, what's his name? James Charles. Why do people keep supporting you? They see the good in you, dude. Why does, why does David Dobrik still have an audience? The same reason Ethan does. Not wanting the whole internet to hate me. I mean, it'd be nice because I, I feel like there's a there's there could be an understanding between their audience and us. Mm -hmm. I feel like there's there's a there is a, a bridge there. I feel there's people in their audience that would watch. I mean, I see tons of con uh, comments, Dan, of people being like, I w which is part of the reason I want to talk about it, too. Was Did the stream get demonetized? I think my stream is not fully demonetized. So if you guys want to like it, it is half mon demonetized, though, for sure. Both of them. Mm, really? I watch both of you guys, and it sucks to see you guys fighting. Yeah, there's a lot of overlap between, well, it's going to become less and less over time, but Ethan is the one who keeps burning the bridge, bros. Shit like that. Like, I saw tons of comments like that. Okay. Fine. So I was like, okay, well, maybe there's something we can do here, but no. <sighs> nah. All right, moving on. We got so much other better stuff to talk about than that. Thank you. Oh, here they are. Yeah, look how cold they are, dude. Preach has got like... Oh my god, they're wearing clothes indoors. They're wearing a sweater indoors. Like a damn Siberian... <laughs> kind of fire <laughs> Siberian, <laughs> uh... Nice out, jacket. Out, out, what, yeah, nice I mean, jacket. How, what, what's the temperature at 3am in Quebec? You know? I think it's like uh, 20 degrees. Probably. Yeah, 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 yeah. Definitely you gotta... <laughs> you gotta dress warm for that one, guys. <laughs> Crazy. Alright, <clears throat> thank you. He goes, there's a reason the whole internet hates you. Yeah, because you fucking go in your videos and lie about shit that we said. Damn, this is sad, bro. Mental health is so real. I really think it's dumb or mental health. I'm serious. He's either so dumb or there's mental health issues. And I love him anyways. Like a little brother who's just like, eh, what are you going to do? That's Ethan, you know? I can't hold somebody like this accountable. I, I can't. I can't. He just, he, I can't even. It's like, I don't even know how to hold him accountable. You know, Abby with the super chat for the stream. Thanks, girl. Thank you. For e at least an easy dub, because, you know what I mean? The Ethan hate machine is a, <sighs> it's a profitable business, frankly. It does well. Is he lying to us right now? He literally does this. He has the same business model. He just made fun of the way they look. He made fun of the fact that they might have families. He made fun of like preaches like, oh, he's kind of a kind of a celebrity, I think, in Ontario. Like, what? Oh no, this was too much for me. I unsubscribed from Ethan because of this. <clears throat> All right. Thank you. So what should we do? We got the Cav Cav interview. This and we have so many. He did not only his failure podcast, the Damn, that's it. There we go. We did it. Damn. He reminds me of Chank. The double down to protect their staff? Maybe. Yeah, I mean, maybe it's just an Ethan thing. I don't know if it's the way he's raised. I don't know if it's his nerd. Or, I don't know what it is. But this is difficult. Can you imagine having a family member like Ethan? It's hard. It's really hard loving somebody who doubles down like this. I mean, I definitely love somebody who doubles down like this. It's hard, bro. Because you just look at them and you're like, bro, here's all the evidence. Here's all. Why are you doing this? Why are you doubling down so hard? Just say, I'm sorry, I fucked up so we can move the fuck on. But then they don't. So you just kind of kind of treat them like kids. I do. I'm going to treat you like a kid, bro. Because there's, I, I don't know, really know what to do, you know? Anyways, shout out to Abba and Preach for sending me that video. Shout out to everybody who is willing to sit through the whole story. And shout out to Olivia. I hope she gets the help she needs. And shout out to Ethan. 
We love you, Ethan. We love you, bro. Damn. Who's your favorite on the H3 crew? Honestly, Ian or Zach. I do love AB as well, but I think I love Zach because his his sound bites are too good, bro. But I love, I, I mean, I love them all. Oh, so interesting, bro. So interesting. Mikey with the super chat. Brittany, what, what do you see in Ethan? Genuine question. To me, he has always been that, been kind of not my tea. You know, I think I see deep down that he is a good person. I also think deep down there's something like lovable about Ethan in the same way that I think there's something lovable about um, uh, Aiden Ross and Sneeko. I just think they're all kind of fucked up because their bubble formed them to be that way and they never spend time evoking free will. I think they never spend time really evoking it. I was really holding out for Sneeko for a while, but I think Sneeko's like on a real kind of journey. And I think he's like a rebellious teenager. But Aiden's like the really dumb teenager who's like, wait, what? And Ethan is like the adult teenager who hasn't grown up. And I think I just feel bad for people that are dumb in that way because they really are a product of their environment, right? Like they really don't have the introspection to make a different decision. But most people don't, to be fair. They really don't, right? So I can't even be that upset and hold them accountable because they can't even follow their own reasoning. Um, so I'm pretty critical on other people that I think I'm most critical on people that I think are smart. If you guys remember, I was pretty critical of somebody over the last couple of years because I think he's quite smart. I am less critical of people I don't think are smart. So keep that in mind when I'm very critical of you. It's because I think you're smarter than this. Take it as a compliment because I really do mean it as one. And maybe I mean it as an insult against the boys that I named that I don't think they're smart enough to not treat like teenagers. But that's the truth. That is how I feel. Yeah, that's why I give leniency. I feel like if you're dumb, I give a lot more leniency. I think people are trapped in their um, their bubbles sometimes and I can't fault them for that. You know, I could pretend to and I could I could pretend that I was still angry at people and I'm upset sometimes because they hurt people. But man, you know what I mean? I really, I, yeah, when I think you're smart, I'm much more critical of you. That's why I'm so lenient on, on uh, Ethan here, you know? In my head, in real life, I'm in bed. My belly's being fed and I'm okay. I'm just fine, yet all I do is whine. Not to you in my mind, cause I know I